Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Testicle, testicle, testicle. One, two, three. How are we doing today? How's everyone been? How you doing, righty? Good to see you, bud. Just finished the VOD? Hell yeah, man. Then you're ready to go. Actually, let me just grab some water while I'm here. Good, and you? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Uh, didn't sleep much, but that's a common thing around these parts. Woke up early, couldn't fall back asleep. Kind of weird hearing good morning when I just got in bed. Ah, yeah, well. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, different side of the world, man. Different side of the world. What a day yesterday, right? What a day. What a return. A lot of, um... A lot of, um, developments. And I still think we're just getting started. Uh, ironically. I've been stuck in the VOD pit for so long. It's weird hearing you at not 1.25 speed. You watch my VODs in 1.25 speed? Oh my goodness. That's one way of doing it, I guess. That intro is by far the best I've ever seen. Oh, well, thank you, man. My, my brother, Tony... Uh, helped me make it. He did uh, all the filming, and me and him both did the editing on it. Um, very talented guy. It's like 700 hours of Wallaby, man. I had to. No, no, no. I totally get it. I totally get it. It's actually kind of a hack. Stop in Valentine real quick. Get some food. Check the grams. Missed a good bit of the Texas Chainsaw, but did you play Wallaby as well? You're saying, uh, Texas Chainsaw was a couple days ago, man. And yes, I did Wallaby yesterday. I watched him at 0 0.25. I love the slow mo. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> A bit of peaches. You have to watch the VOD, man. You're gonna have to watch the VOD. I'm not gonna ruin it for you. All right. Nothing can go wrong, man. Being in Valentine by myself, right? Surely not. Am I wanted? No, but there's people who want to kill me constantly. When can we expect, ter expect Terry? Uh, tomorrow, probably, more than likely. You play Peter in GG? In no pixel whitelist as well, don't you? No. No. Never played anyone named Peter. I played on no pixel though, uh, white list, but it wasn't uh, wasn't Peter. Oof. We get rid of that one, man.
Get some food. Get some grub. That's my favorite jacket right there. Yeah, it's a nice one, man. Since the sliders came in, the color sliders, uh, you can make it even better. First time playing with Wallaby? No. These outfits don't hit the same that the long hair, long hair desk wallaby. <laughs> well, that'll grow back in time, man. see wallaby able to wander town around town alone well man i'm always in a six-man group constantly it's what i do my favorite pastime i think we might have trouble paying this debt off guys might be a little difficult go fishing that is the meta got to sell more meth oh my god don't even bring up the meth man get kind of to remove the negative yeah that would be the 100k in the bank man would be sick i mean this is the broke the gang's been in this most broke we've been in a long time we still got cash we got cash we got over 20 grand in cash which is a lot of money but we need to start making more of it. Jasper and Eli and Van Horn hurt. He's been very vague. He wants me to tell you that he failed and they are coming. And he really needs to see and speak to you. He's a fuck up, man. <laughs> Next time, send someone less obvious. Or rather, don't make there be a next time. Have your whelp cut his teeth on easier prey. You have your business, I have mine. <laughs> uh... <laughs> God damn it. Jasper, so he's so trash. <laughs> I don't have Bradshaw. Julius? I don't have Bradshaw's telegram. Fuck, he should have me a return. Hmm. Maybe I got him as the Jade King? Nope. Damn. I would have liked to send a reply. Interesting.
how do you fail? <laughs> Good thing. Wait, that's not gonna say they they're coming. Who's coming? Julius Bradshaw? Oh no. It's not like he's been after me for like six months. Does Bradshaw really think that I don't know he's been plotting against me for months? Interesting. The red capes are coming. Damn, I wanted to send a reply telegram. Wallaby wouldn't be too fussed, I'll be honest with you. Because he didn't really care about Bradshaw getting got anyway. He's more just, it's more about the Jasper situation. However, if he's there coming, that's a different story altogether. If they're coming, then, uh, you know, we'll see. The thing is a bit contradictory, isn't it? Because one telegram is saying they're coming and the other telegram from, I assume, is Bradshaw uh, is saying next time don't let there be a next time you have your business i have mine so are they coming or are they wanting to let it lie we might we might have to meet with bradshaw maybe that's what we do evening miss time to hunt bradshaw again i don't think we're hunting bradshaw Wallaby actually finds it more humorous. <laughs> he finds it more humorous. It's like, all right, yeah, okay. You got Jasper. Well done. I'm more curious how he failed. Next time, send Archie. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> He'd yell, cunt real loud and slew his throat. That's the thing, though. Uh, he wouldn't send anyone else but Jasper. He doesn't care enough about, nor does he see Bradshaw as big enough of a, a threat or a competitor or anything for him to go after him. It was more of a, I know that he's he's been plotting against me. I know that you've met with him before. And you got to prove yourself to me. So, you know, go kill him. It was just more of a happenstance, really. More so than Wallaby really wants Bradshaw dead. But him failing on the first quest, man. What a bummer. Because I had more quests for him. But now this puts me in a fucking predicament. Do I just kill him now? He's kind of fucking useless. He fucking failed already. Third chance. Oh boy. Okay, well, we're in for a day today then, huh? Cool. Damn, I wish I had his telegram. I thought I did. Hey, Luna. I thought I did. I I'm shocked I don't have Bradshaw's telegram. We've we've had correspondence before. Hang on, let me check my telegrams. I might have an old telegram from him. Hold the phone. I didn't check my, my telegrams to see if I had a previous telegram with his his uh, address on it. Let me let me check that. Fucking Jasper. Jasper and Eli injured, eh? So he went in with just Eli and himself. What happened to the rest of his crew? I thought he had like fucking seven 
55 men and two girls. Disturbing. Is that a deputy? That's awkward. Um, telegrams. Bradshaw, there he is. Mm -hmm. The wallaby kid. Impressive, I suppose. Let's meet. Oh, let me add him. Let me just read this again. He's been very vague. He wants me to tell you that he failed and they are coming. They are coming. Well, there's only one way. I mean, we have to. We have to talk to. Um, we have to talk to our J Jasper. That's the only way we're going to figure out what the fuck's going on. Cool. I can't believe he failed the first fucking mission, man. Even if he didn't kill him, like at least like achieve something. Fuck me. Guy sucks, man. What a loser. <laughs> I had like three or four like other missions lined up in my head. And this guy fucking stumbles on the first hurdle. What a disappointment. Blondie more like can't do a simple questy. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to see why his operation fell through, man. Mediocre. I gotta say that. I gotta say that to him for sure. I gotta say that to him. They are coming. Oh god. I really hope that's a Jasper quote and not a Bradshaw quote. Because if he's saying they are coming, if he's threatened like they are coming, as in like war, then we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to fuck him dry, man. We're just gonna have to fuck the whole crew dry. I don't even know who his crew is. Who are these people? I thought he was by himself picking fucking berries and bananas and shit. Now he's a a warlord? God damn it, Jasper, you fucking mutt. Hang on. How did he know that Jasper was with me? How did he know I sent him? Oh my god. So he fucking told him to. My brain, man. That just occurred to me. Well, how the fuck do I justify letting him live now, man? I mean, I love a, I love Jimmy and all, but fuck me. What do I do? He fails and tells him that I sent him? Well, we're going to have to kill Eli at the very least. Or Ganon. Or whoever else the fuck. I don't know. Someone is going to have to get got, man. I'm going to have to find out who his people are. 
I like Eli, man. I like Ganon too. Who's the chick? Uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Nancy? Nancy. Yeah. Yeah, well, we have, well, we have to find Nancy or something. I don't know. God damn it, man. I it's, it's too early in the morning for murder, bro. I'm not into it. I just wanted to be a good guy, you know? And let other people kill instead of me. You know what I mean? How hard is it? Wallaby kid, I just want to be a good guy. Well, you know, as good as we can be. I didn't want to murder Jasper, man. But, like, the guy's a grade A fuck up, man. I've never seen someone, like, combust the way he has. He couldn't even make it to first base. Let Alvin know. I'm not going to let Alvin kill him because if I let Alvin kill him, I have to listen to Alvin excited. And Alvin excited, it's just not good for anybody. We need to keep him depressed. That's where he's, he's most comfortable. If I have to hear him say that he wants to hear the clicks again, I'm just gonna fucking shoot him. You wanna hear the clicks, do ya? Listen to this click. <laughs> hey, do a top spin. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I love how I said Jasper off on this fucking mission that I was assuming he was gonna take like a week to do. And literally get a telegram the same day say he's fucking injured in Van Horn. Oh my god, he went out instantly? What a fucking derelict man. Some people you just can't help, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just we'll just kill Jasper in front of Julius Bradshaw and be like, we're friends now? Okay, cool. I know that bitch been plotting, man. I know he's been plotting. I've, I, I have, I have had too many conversations with too many people in the last few months. I know he brings my name up constantly. Man, he had the perfect opportunity. He should have sent me a telegram saying, "Come at, if you come at the king, you best not miss." Is what he should have fucking wrote. I need rent money. Where's Harry? Give me my money. Oh, team speak. Fuck. <laughs> People could have been talking to me this whole time. I've just completely ignored them at the telegram office. That's what I should have done. I should have sent Jasper after 
Bradshaw and then telegram Bradshaw and let Are him you know. Just standing there? Yes, I'm just standing here. I need money for the rent. Oh. Come give me my money. All right. I gotta go get it out of my hotel. The rent. The rent. Jesse Gold and Fiverr got shot yesterday. By who? Alice and Mills. Wait, they shot Fiverr as well? And Fiverr's really hurt and she's... Why did they shoot Fiverr? Wait, they shot Fiverr. Why did they shoot Fiverr? I don't know. Fiverr got shot. I don't... I, well, I don't know what happened. It's a mess. Hi, Scout. Okay, well, if they're shooting Fiverr, man, they got, they got no loyalty to anyone but KG, so... Oh, Jesus. Fuck me. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Doing all right. How are you doing? Hello there, sweetheart. Anything? Well, you and Moxie's mother are thinking now I am. Hey, we have to have a little chit chat about the Jasper situation. Guys are sure. complete fuck up. <laughs> what did he do? He couldn't make it past the starting line. Let me just do this real quick. <laughs> what a fucking disaster. We, we can salvage something though. We can salvage something. I mean, I'm just gonna have to stab a motherfucker. I just don't know who I'm gonna stab. I don't want it to be Jasper. Oh my God, what a dick. What a dick. Be fucked. That's the gun I need right now. And actually I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> How much money I got? I got 700 bucks in here. Okay. Ain't too bad. I still got this stupid fucking worm. I'm gonna throw this worm out eventually, I feel like. Alright. Okay, let's fuck it. Let's go talk about this fucking bullshit. The piss jug. Um. I need a few <laughs> minutes. I think the worst thing about Fiverr is wake up. I don't think Fiverr had a gun in her hand. I think she was hey. helping Jesse and she got shot while she was helping oh. Jesse. Wait, 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 wait. Say that one more time. I said I don't think Fiverr had a gun in her hand when she got shot. I think she was helping Jesse because Jesse was hurt. Jesse was hurt from getting shot. Yes. She was helping him. Yes. Then Mills and Alice shot her too. I don't know if Mills and Alice shot her. Mills and Alice was a whole with a whole group of people. I no, don't know West, who the is West it. is truly something. Truly something. You invested in it. I invested in not this those This is people. a shit show. Uh, uh. Jesse's not with Mills and Alice. It is, and you know it. No, you have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what you're talking about. No one does because it is a fucking farce. It's a mystery. It is Bermuda Triangle the down there. To understand what I'm doing, <laughs> pissing away money. You can't even Nitty decide which there. hat you want to wear <laughs> let alone what I'm doing in the way. Society crumbling. It's it truly what is. What if you had one minute a cowboy hat and then it's a exactly. little cap and now it's what this thing? Have you I made have different your decision? Out. I don't like it either way. Brown hat. I don't like. Brown hat with black shirt and pants Alice? with a green scarf. Ooh. What is this? This is actually what, isn't what did a you do this? I question your judgment. If you re all right, then. You question my judgment. <laughs> Let it be known here now. I question your judgment completely. What a Wholeheartedly what with this investment. Job. I think mm -hmm. it was your biggest mistake you made. You have no or, idea what you're talking about. Well. There's another contender, but yeah, yeah. But what would that yeah, be? You know, I don't know what I could. No, but that's sordid and all that. But maybe so that's, that's the just one it. that was vouching for maybe Jasper, I don't see the right? We must go inside and talk about this. 
I, what I, I do, do with what I, I do with what I'm given, you know what I mean? I can't do nothing if I don't have all the evidence. Well, be, I hope it's okay. I told Everett if they need to rest here that they could. They didn't need to, but I told them that they could. I gotta speak to them at some point, maybe to them. Okay. What a fucking shit show. <laughs> You come and scout. Yeah, I'm just gonna let Wesley know. Fucking disaster, man. Where the fuck is Archie, man? I just want Archie to kill my whole gang. Just kill everyone. Eddie first. <clears throat> Alright, I have to turn my fan on. It's getting a little, little toasty. My daddy. Oh, Arsus, thank you for the eight months, brother. How you doing, eight mate? Moon? Eight Let's moons? Go. Eight moons? Are we robbing banks today? Oh, yeah, totally, dude. We might actually... I might... We might have to steal some guns. I want to provide guns for this war. And I think that's the way to make money, is stealing some guns. But how do I do that without getting arrested right away? I just have to send someone else to do the dirty work. All right. So. Send Jasper. Yeah, not a bad idea. I got you some stuff, Wellaby. What are you going for me? There we go. I got you some of these, and then some of these, and then this, and then some oh, guns. All right, all right. Hey, get. Are you fucking in the zone? I can't carry Wait, right. all that. Uh, go get uh, a go what? go get a box. Put in a box. Okay. And bring it back. He's got a fucking uh, smokestack for a gun. I think he's trying to make Pete jealous. He's doing a good job. No. Looks nice. Jasper. Complete and utter fucking failure. No wonder. What'd he do? His rule. Rules here is a complete disaster. Well, he was caught out, wasn't he? He was beat up, injured by Julius Bradshaw. And Julius uh -oh. telegrammed me, telling me that send someone better next time or something to that effect. Seen that man by himself tenfold while you've been gone. Could have executed him where he stood every single fucking time. Well, we've established that Jasper's a moron. <laughs> Apparently, Jasper was in the streets yesterday in Van Horn yelling out, they're gonna come, they're coming, they're coming to get us, or some bullshit. So there could be a retaliation, I'm not sure. Well, we know uh, Morgan Winward is close with them. Saw Julius Bradshaw and Thieves just a few days ago. I'm He's running around. About Bradshaw. Well, just for description wise, mm. he runs around with a bunch of people with fucking skull masks on and and deer masks and so on and so forth. Who are they? No fucking clue. Mm. They're all hidden behind their fucking mask. Right. Well, I have offered to meet Bradshaw. We'll see what he says. But here's the kicker. I want to know how Bradshaw knew that I said Jasper. How did he know to telegram me? How did he know I sent him? Either Eli or Jasper squealed.
So what do we do about that? I found it very difficult to bring the book through the door, so I left it outside. God damn it. What? I'll I'll take it. Come on, come on. Stay right here, fellas. I'll be right back. Alright. <laughs> Is this it? Let, let me move before you go through this box. Mm, I'll grab it. Get out of the way. <laughs> I'm getting out of the way. What? Wait, where'd it go? Hold on. I what do you it. mean, where'd it, it go? If you crushed my box, I swear. Oh, there it is. I got it. Good job, Wesley. Good job. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I can go in here with it, right? Yes. I mean, he knows Jasper was riding with DEG and was in Van Horn. It just so happens that Blondie was looking for him the day he got out of prison. Stone Chicken, that is, that is such a fucking stretch. As far as I know, in character, the meeting he had, had nothing to do with DEG previously. So that's a huge stretch. Huge stretch. It's not that hard to connect the dots. What? I've got a leather bag in here? What the fuck is in here? Hold on. Can I put this down or is it going to disappear? I can't put it down. Motherfucker. Hold on. I can open it up though. And take shit out. Hold on. <sighs> Jesus. The gold bar is not very useful to me. Be useful to Pete though. These guns are gonna be coming in handy though. This is good shit. What is this? Worn and rusty navy called Chicken Hunter. Great. Ping shotguns useful. All right, let me just put this shit in my fucking room. People are crossing a professional investigators. Everyone besides Jasper. Jasper's a special breed. <laughs> we'll work it out though. We'll role play through it. He's making it very hard not to kill his fucking character, though. I can tell you that much. He's making it very fucking difficult to justify keeping him alive. I'm trying, man. I'm trying my heart out. Okay. Well, fuck me, man. I got too much shit. I guess I don't need that. What's that sound? There's no way that he, there's no way he could have put it together that I sent Jasper without Jasper telling him. It, that's, that's such a huge assumption. He sent me a telegram. What is, what have I got in my fucking bag? That's what I want to know. I, I didn't, I don't remember having a bag. Whichever works for you, man. Oh, shit. Vicenzo's? Hold the phone. What is in this fucking bag? Open. There's nothing. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll put these in there. Sure. I'm glad there was nothing in there, because when they searched my storage, I forgot to tell them about the bag. But... I didn't, honestly, I forgot I even had it. Lucky there was nothing in there. Okay, put that in there. Fucking shit. Good place to forget about it again. Ah, oh, I'm not going to forget about that one, man. I remember that one. I'll remember that. I thought I thought I heard Pearly. Don't kick me, don't kick me, don't kick me. Uh, I'm sorry, it's my whole season. I'll just leave the box, I, I don't really care about that. Bed. Bedtime. Okay, Mr. Douglas, do you want, would you like 20 bonds? I would like 20 bonds, but hold on now. What Jesus about you, Mr. Would you like some money? How you doing? I'm doing all right. We, we, we need to catch up. Thank you. Yeah, we know. Yeah, okay. we, we should catch up. You, uh, I'm assuming you're busy right now. No, no, you can come talk to me. Uh, talk. Uh, I want to say I'll Ginny, be inside. Yeah. All right, I'll be there in a minute. 
How much money you got? Do the gang has about 25 grand. I don't know, he gives grand. away free stuff. Yep, hey, Alright. I appreciate that, by the way. That's a good start to the, the, the box of guns. Alright. We have you a Mr. You needed guns, so I got guns. Good man. We have a Mr. Pearly outside wants to talk. You'll be in, a, in here shortly. Eddie. Oh, you coming in? Yeah. Yeah. How many gems and such do you have? Uh, a good bit. I think we should offload them. Uh, yeah. You gotta give me a day, though. Why not today? I gotta talk to a few people. What does that fucking mean? Let me run a few numbers and then we'll be able to do it. Are we working today? What do you think? Well, we need more guns. I want to meet with the bastards and sort that out. A shipment of weapons would be ideal. Thanks to Wesley here, we already have half a crate. So that's a start. But we could use more. Ugh. Why don't you have this meeting with Bradshaw? We kick their asses, we rob their asses, and then we sell their assets to the bastards. I thought we went to guns, not asses. Because that would potentially start a war, which then we would be occupied defending ourselves more so than sending guns out west and making money. Let him sit on his island. Hmm. Exactly. Have him be too scared to come back to the crossing. I don't know who these fellas in skull masks are. Cowards? Maybe. But a coward can kill you just as much as a brave man. Anyway, I need to figure out what to do with Jasper, especially if he told Bradshaw what was what. Holy. What's going on, fellas? Shit, Wallaby, I did not know you was home already. They didn't told me you was going to be gone for way longer. Oh, you know, Welcome home. I was well behaved. That's good. <laughs> That's good. How are you doing? Doing all right. Doing all right. Business has uh, been picking up lately mm -hmm. in a good way. How about yourself? Yes. All right. How are the brothers? <clears throat> Still dead. They, they ain't dead. You, you keep the brothers ain't that, dead. But I see no evidence of life. <laughs> you done took over, didn't you? It's all right if you're dead. I ain't gonna take it personal. I like them. Right. Oh, they ain't dead. Why you? Oh, they, right. they are not. Yeah, they're the living. The brothers are not. Yeah, they're thriving. They're living. Sure. <laughs> yes, in New York. Living mm. just fine. Yeah, in New York, right. Living right. great. Mm. That's New York. Yeah, yes. yeah, living in New York. Mm -hmm. Along with Monroe and who else? <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, I was uh yeah I be, I was thinking about coming over here talking to uh because I seen a scout around talk to y'all about a few things because I'm I'm you know picking up uh on buying bonds and whatnot. Is that so? You know y'all oh, still doing that? You're in the market for bond. I am. What about gems and such? Uh, Jams, I do believe I have some folk who are interested in that as well. Lovely, that could be something. Epi's still around. 
Where is she? I haven't seen her in so long. While well, you was in prison for quite some time, I reckon she's in San Denis. She couldn't come and visit. I didn't see it when I was around. No. Did tend to get out the house a little later. Tell me. You know Julius Bradshaw, right? I do. Saw him not that long ago. Do you know who he rides with? That's that, um... What's that, what's that motherfucking name? Scrump. Scrumpy? Stump? Stumpy? Oh my Something like that. Scrump. Really? Yeah, it's no. Scrump. Well, I don't know if he ride with it, but last time when I spoke to Bradshaw, it was at the Rose Telegram station. He was there with uh with this scrumpy fella. And the time before that, because Bradshaw wanted to talk to me, because I had cut him off on the account of what he'd done. You knew he that already? I knew, the, I knew that, that they scrumpy. spoke. So I didn't know that I he rode posed. with him. I don't think. Did I? I cut dude such a long time ago. Hmm. That's Ryan, about it. Ryan, Ryan, what I heard, he's uh, he's back and forth from Guamo. Well, you see, what I want to do, I want to reestablish alliances between myself and you. I think this bond situation would be a good start and get business flowing again. Yeah, it would be nice to get some flowing business. Do you still have hold over the city? More or less. We have a... Uh, you know Amadeo. He runs a crew. But, uh, yeah. A lot of things still go through us. Got some new folk there, too. Some folk I reckon y'all paid a visit to. Them Bartons. Are they from St. Denis? Last I heard, I wasn't the barn staying at the uh, Amadeo's old house. Mm, where's the old Amadeo cut, cut meadow. Oh, Amadeo's staying at my place. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. All the old families operating out that house now. Mm. Well then, it's good to hear. I was worried that you might have lost grip. No. Never that. Well, we gotta continue running the East. As friends. As the West burns. West has been burning for a while, ain't it? It's getting worse. Is it now? Oh, yes. I spoke to, um... This lady by the name of Cece from Armadillo, do you know him? I do not. Spoke to her in Valentine's, she told me she had got a telegram from somebody about Jack Kitterman being back. So I've heard. Yeah. Came around, shot some folk and left. That was the word. Well, it is Jack Kettleman. It what is. Jack ain't never gonna change. No. A lot of death that way, too. Oh, it works for us, Ron. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Don't really... I don't, I don't, I don't think it really matters to us too much. I guess, the, you know, in a good way, it keeps them busy over there. Ron, if they were all friendly, they might look to expand elsewhere. Also keeps the law looking out there and not out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, oh. things is definitely changing. Things is changing. I reckon it was um back in them days, I don't think the West was that united. I'm talking nineteen hundred and such. Mm. But then when that whole situation happened when my folks and them, you know, Kettleman went at it, the West came together as one. But I reckon that bond is slowly starting to well, it's being breaking off. Oh, it is completely burned to the ground in the cinders. Yeah. Dan Sullivan died. Heard that girl Josie died too. A lot of people dead. Yeah. How about y'all? 
anybody give you your trouble? No, oh, we are thriving. I do have a question for you, Pearly. Sure. Heard uh, Victory Street still living in Saint Denis. That is what I've heard. Yeah, somebody heard told they, me that uh, that Lou was around, and I I did get a telegram back from him. Yeah. Mm hmm. I've uh I've heard they're no longer running the Blue Pearl. They're a, a gang now. Yeah. I've What's also heard they've been gang? rustling some feathers here and here and there. When you say here and there, do you mean here in Van Horn or elsewhere? Uh, there was an incident here. Wasn't too much oh, yeah? of a big deal, though. What? But uh, I've heard elsewhere as well. Thanks for letting me know, Scout. It's the main stuff. <clears throat> okay. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, no, that's quite literally what I heard. Is they've just been rustling some feathers around. I didn't know if you might know anything about that. No. Because they because... were uh, trying to use our fight club at one point to... Uh, Send a message to some people. What? They Why am I hearing about this here. now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's not too appreciated, is it? Not particularly. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't truly know. I've been trying to catch up with that boy Lou because it wasn't that long ago when people told me that the uh, Victory Street had disbanded completely. I spoke to. Buddy, he told me he was a free agent. He was riding with Hathaway, I saw, at one point. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Don't know, maybe it's folks the came back. Book. They got back together. Causing trouble. You should have read it, man. Fair Fair enough. Enough. It's, uh, no longer defeated, Street. Right. Okay. Why is he here? I, what the fuck? Why does Lego stay in the corner? Ah, uh, Jesus. My apologies. So this whole... Yeah, no, he's all right. Wesley, he's all right. Yeah, uh, hold on. There's Donnie Barton, though, because <laughs> they, it was, uh, was it last night or two nights ago? I was on the porch, and I seen y'all. Y'all rode in heavy, heavy-handed to their house. Is there an issue we... there, or what, what's going on? Oh, God damn. You were fishing Eddie? for information there, Holy. Not for them. They ain't my friends. Uh -huh. I just want to know if I should be expecting a shootout in the city sometime soon. They won't be a shootout in the city anytime soon. Okay. Although, how good of a friend are you to Bradshaw? I put it like this. Me and him, we had that talk about what happened between you and him. Mm. And I told him because of that, him and I, we can't work together. I couldn't do that. He gonna do what he gonna do. I say hello if I see him. That's it. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Business about these bonds. What are you offering? Well. What type of price you got in mind? Well, I've been away for a while. I'm not sure what the going rate is. Throw me an offer. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I say, since we are friends, mo most of the people I offer around $17 or so. It's down that low. For you, I could do 20 $20 per bond. Mm-hmm. I remember back in the day, it used to be 30 to 35, how times have changed. Mm -hmm. How they have. Is that a reasonable price nowadays, fellas? I wouldn't know. How much again? $20. 20. It varies. You know, the, the prices go up and down depending on uh, any given day. 20 for now sounds fair. Sure. We could talk about it more later on. Mm. And you know, we still probably got that nitro somewhere if y'all need that too. Yeah, we might be on the market, I'm sure. We might have plenty. Okay. 
Tell me, Armando, yeah. does he does he work with gems? As far as I know, not really. I think one of his boys is in the, in the market, but I don't know for too sure. I would definitely uh, rather have you talk to Effie about it. Or either of them around now? I doubt it. It is rather early. Usually Amadeo is around early. No, Amadeo is around, yeah. Is he around now? He was at the house, yeah, when I went by there. All right. You might go stop, have a little chit chat. Sure. Oh. Okay. You know but as far as the. Uh, your dress is yeah. very fancy. Thank I like you. this look. Yeah, I figured I'd switch it up a little bit. I, I, maybe I'm bad. going through a crisis or something. Because I keep people telling me, let me ask you this, Wallaby. Hmm. This hat that I'm wearing, do you reckon it's a cowboy hat? Be honest with me. Looks more like a hybrid. Like a hybrid. Hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. People came to me to talk about Howdy Pearly, yeehaw, and I said, fuck you. Have they seen the hats they wear in Saint Denis? I mean, ain't nothing wrong with the Saint Denis hats, but I figured I'd try oh, something. Have you noticed they're always too small for their head? Yes. Mm. Yes, I have. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. we'll stop by Saint Denis in a little while. Maybe we'll see you then. Sure. Oh. Yeah, I might be around. I might be around. I'm uh, doing a lot more moving around these days, trying to stay active, stay busy. Well, you know, we're always moving. friends. Sure. Make sure you sure. give my best to the brothers. Yeah, I do that. Bert is my daddy. Hey, Bert, keep up the great RP, brother. Well. I see you fellas around. Have a lovely day, Pearlie. Always good to see you. Hey, can I come out the corner now? Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. This is Jasper, motherfucker. He definitely spoke. He ran his mouth. Someone in that crew has to pay for him. While there, Gannon, Eli, Nancy, anyone else? Um, there's George, but George is, he reminds me of Wesley. They kind of just pick him up off the street and are teaching him how to do things, but at the same time, Jasper, he just, he just uh, fucking... Jasper can't stand him. So, don't exactly think he's a great option for that. But does the rest of his group feel the same? Doesn't have to be uh, just Jasper. I mean, I guess they get along with him, but... Well, there, there's some things you should know in regards to this beforehand. This also involves Victory Street. Yeah, thanks Is, for letting uh, me know about that, by the way. Well, there is a lot of shit to catch you up on, and I caught you up on the most important stuff. So... There is Nancy woman. She's we been running be the Fight months. Club here in Van Horn. Mm. So far, they've had two tournament thingies. Thingies. And uh, place has been dusty as hell. Shitload of uh, people coming through for that. All right. That being said, this is where Victory Street comes in. Also involves, involves the Barton, funny enough. The Bartons, they killed these two people. And uh, Victory Street tried to strong arm Nancy into publicly calling out uh, the Bartons here at the Fight Club and to talk about how they are, you know, they murdered two two kids that were helping some folk out and so on and so forth. Hey, and when they said, no, uh, you know, this is in Van Horn, we're, we don't do that kind of thing, they tried to say, oh, so you support them? And they're trying to strong arm them into... Uh, basically their political agenda whatever the fuck they got going on they're trying to use van horn to do so knowing that we live here and personally i find it as a huge sign of disrespect from them mm. i tried to reach out to uh victory street lou got back to me yesterday i think that's something we can have a conversation about if you want 
Alright, we can do that, but I also want to see Nancy. Does anyone have any contact with her? Alvin does. Alvin's in love with all the women from that group. And I mean, if they breathe. You think we'll rob a bank today? A bank? Yeah. Well, we have to. I think guns meeting with the bastard. I want to meet Armando about these gems. I want to talk to Jasper and his crew if we have time, maybe, in Bun. We have a lot to work on. I'll also uh, telegram need, Lou, see if they're around. I need you to run the numbers and give me exact numbers on them gems. Yeah, I can do that. All right. We'll get a price. I want you to get a price for everything. He's being so shady, man. But the reason I brought up Nancy is because she runs the Fight Club here in Van Horn while you've been gone. It's brought a lot of people and it's made a lot of money. Figure we could take a percentage and she could keep doing it if that's what you want. Yeah, I agree. Well, if anyone's going to get stabbed, it can't be her. She seems valuable. All right. Well, then. Let's get started. Give me a number for those gems, Eddie. So when we go to the Armando, we have a number. Eddie's, Eddie's like, fuck, I don't have any gems. I gotta fucking get some. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, fuck. We can't, okay, so Nancy sounds like she's actually got some uh, value for Van Horn. So she might be all right. I'm gonna have to meet her though. Have I met Nancy? I think I did, but it was like in passing. <clears throat> I don't think I've had a proper talk with her. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Oh, I'm doing all right, Anton. How are you doing, mate? How are you doing? <sighs> Fuck. Dude. Howdy. Who the fuck just whispered at me? Oh! Well, you doing? well, well, look who it is. You creepy motherfucker whispering from the shadows. I heard what happened. I was betrayed. You don't say. Just like you told me I would be. Mm -hmm. You know, I hate being right all the time against infuriatingly boring. Yeah, me too. <laughs> just the opposite, right? Just wrong all the time. Oh, I knew it happened. Mm. So, who exactly shot you? Alice. Nice. I heard five who were shot too. She was holding pressure on my neck. Polly gunned her down. Did you say who did that? Polly. Who? That's what they said, Ollie. Ollie. I, who the fuck I didn't is Ollie? see huh. Quill. Oh, right, of course. One of the hundred Quills in the crossing. Hmm. <laughs> You're just the man I wanted to see, actually. Are you able to move? Yeah, it's just my neck. My All right, come with me. Oh my god, we got a fucking okay. audience. <laughs> hmm? I'm just gonna ask how we... This I'm is just my gonna friend, ask how Jesse's... Jesse Gold. He's doing well, he's just a little fucked up. Okay. I remember Jesse. All right, come with me. Evening, Harry. Hi, Jesse. Howdy. Hi, Jesse. Doc, 
Doc talk. Doc talk. The doc is the new gazebi, man. <laughs> Tell me what the fuck is going on out there in the west. You know what's going on. Jack returns and... All the little soldiers march to his tomb. Did you expect anything different? No. Then how did you let yourself get shot up? Well, Mills tried. Shoot me and I put him on his ass. Mills... Alice, all of them. You can because trust they, any of them. It's funny, like, they call us schemers out here in the east, but they... before anybody else cannot be trusted. They're only loyal to their own. And their own is only Jack, Mills, and Allison. Whoever fucking rides for Jack. Mm. True. You're out of war. It's a shame. You know, if any of them actually cared about James, they should have tried to stop the war before it happened. Alice is the only one. This guy's gonna shoot. Oh, God. Might be all right. Alice might be the only one, but she'll find sign my side regardless. She's lost her mind, though. Mm. Yes, Here's voices. Are. Here's the dead. So I heard. You know, I pleaded with Mills twice now to stop a war for her. But he holds to some fragile notion. That he's responsible for the memory of his dead brother. James started a war that he was gonna die in. That was on James. No one else has responsibility to protect him now that he's dead. Mm. All idiots that can't see their fucking fingers. have no practicality to him, no pragmatism. And there's only one way out of this situation. Kill them all. Correct. I'm very simple, all of you, when it comes to these things. I'm your friend until you betray me. Well, I want you to sand any real quick. We'll be right back. All right. Once you ride against me and try to hurt me. You're no longer my friend and you are my enemy and I will never welcome you among me again. I'll All be honest with you. It's a bit of a predicament. You're gonna have to burn and all out. Or die. I have prior relationships with Mills and Al. Yeah. And what happened as soon as Jack came back? Oh, I'm fully He turned aware. your back on you and walked right into Jack. And I'll also be perfectly clear, I invested a lot into you. Now, I didn't do it for financial gain. Some people question my judgment on that. I could guess to some people. I know you can. But. 
This is the moment. Right here. I want to help you. I want you to wipe them all out. And I can help you do that from the shadow. I can provide you with an arsenal to fight a war. We have an arsenal. You're gonna need more than Jack Kettleman. We need willpower. Jack Kettleman has fought more wars than all of us combined. And how many has he won? How many of his enemies are alive and around today? Does it mean anything? Oh, it does. Any fool can pull a trigger. They're all dead. Jack is resilient. What he lacks in judgment, he makes up for. With sheer willpower. And he will be a thorn in your side until the day you die. And I, the son of Robbie Gold, am gonna kill him. I already challenged him to meet me alone. I don't think that's the play. There's a lot of different plays. Five or one shot, yes. Yeah, that's she's in Santa Knee weight surgery. As far as I'm aware, Mills and Alice had a liking to her. Likings don't matter, they had a liking to me. They do have a soft spot for her and they tried to stop this war, Alice did, but... Mills, before he shot me, he told me... That James was one of the one people that he would do this for. Shabazz would have done it forever. He asked to do it for James. And then he drew iron and tried to shoot me and I knocked his ass out. Mm. He's lost his touch. That's twice the gold's gotten better on. People underestimate me like I've always wanted them to, Wallaby. They think I don't know how to handle myself how to handle steel I can relate to that People I was in the army I know too. what I'm doing I am no down but let me tell you the way you defeat Jack Kettleman is not by pure force it ain't by the gun you said so yourself Alice tried to stop it. There is a chink in that armor. I would exploit that. Use this tragedy, this betrayal against them. Let it eat away at a deteriorating Alice. Let them do the work for you. Because I warn you, you go head to head with that beast, Jack Kettleman. When the gun smoke fades, that beast will still be there. He is a force. He might be an aging one. But there is a reason why people gather to his banner. You cannot underestimate that the way they underestimate you. I do not. The way you get to him is through Alice. 
Alice has Mills. You don't need Mills to turn against Jack. You need Alice to turn against Jack and she'll do the rest. Mills will follow. Use your brain. Many have tried. Many have failed. Why do people not believe in the bastards? All I of believe in you. I think then you could run them through the gutters. I think you could have your way with them, but it will not solve your problem. Why do so many doubt them when all they've done is hold the West down? All they've done is defeat these Vincenzos. All they've done is turn the law away until the law brought 20. And a Gatlin gun and a cannon. You want to know why? People still put disrespect on their name. I'll tell you why they do that. And you're not going to like it. Because whether you like it or not, Jack is the West in many eyes. And Jack is friends with people in high places that can make you just vanish if you need to be. Je Jesse. Jesse. He liked it. He disliked it so much he poofed. <laughs> man, I'm going to build the fuck up out of Jack. He deserves it, man. He deserves it. When it comes to war, there's no one in the crossing that's warred more than Jack. Not a single one. That needs to be... That needs to have weight, right? I think it is the play though. If Alice is is like trying to stop the war from happening, she's got relationships with Fiverr, right? If that if that's all a thing, then she's the weakness. If you can just turn her, the rest will do its own thing, right? Physically going to war with Jack is is not a smart move. Ah. Did you fix your hair up? I did. All right. Where was I? Floorboards are slippery here. Mm. As I was saying, the reason they disrespect the bastards is because in most people's eyes, whether you like it or not, Jack Kettleman is the West, not the bastards. And until Jack Kettleman is dead, you will forever be in that shadow. He can vanish for years, but when he comes back, everyone will flock. Jack has failed the West. No one else sees that but you. I can Jack tell has you. failed James. Jack has failed Mel's. Jack is a failure. Oh, I agree with you. And I can tell you what you want to hear and say you're right, or I can tell you what you need to hear. You have a relationship with Alice, right? So Not anymore. No, 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 no. You do. Let me tell you something about Jack Kettleman that was taught to me by Gavin Summers. Jack is very, very predictable and he's very easy to manipulate. Spread rumors, 
whispers in the shadows. Let things make their way to him and you can control your enemy. A physical war with Jack Kettleman will not be pretty, I assure you of that. Not that you're not capable, but no one has warred as much as that man. You do not like the disrespect you get. Do not disrespect back. That is how you lose. You respect him. You play this smart and then you win. Your path to victory is Alice. Truth is, rumors aren't even needed, Wallaby. The truth... The truth is, Isaac Quill picked up a gun and fought Kelly Gang with us, and now he's writing for Jack for James. Mm -hmm. The truth is, Zip Quill gave us information several times about different places the Kelly Gang might be. And now he's writing for Jack for James. And how do you use that information? Well... I'm sure that sort of information would seem like betrayal to Jack. Use that. Alice... Saved our lives countless times. Chose us over the Kelly gang on multiple times when it came to who she was gonna treat first. Good. Then you have more than you need. You play your cons right, you'll have Jack Kettleman stabbing Alice and the Quills. Trust me. Waggy, Waggy ran his mouth talking about what joke James was and the rest of the Kelly gang was at these landing multiple times. Bro, he's now got so he's much. riding for Jack for if James. I, he's got so much. Well then, I guess when you said you had an arsenal, you really meant it. I would use all of that if I were you. Spread those whispers. Let them get to Jack. And he'll do the rest for you, I assure you. Jack has to respect me. Why? Because... I became what he wanted me to become. When he first met me... He asked me what I would be. Was I gonna run off and be law? Was I gonna live up to Robbie's name? Well, I imagine I'm well on my way to being what he wanted. I plan on respect. using that. I plan on using it against him. His respect for my father. Do you run with the bastards? I am officially a bastard, yes. Now. Yes, but do you I've run with the gang? <laughs> want to supply guns to him. Can you talk to Everett and set up a meet? Yeah, I could try to get you a meeting. Not sure we need guns. They just robbed a bank. We have two pumps. Elephant got... guns. Wait, 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 wait. You have a clean pump? I think so. How much do you want for it? <laughs> I don't know if it's for sale. Motherfucker. Can't find a single fucking pump action shotgun. Robbed about a thousand bags. Can't find a single fucking one. And you motherfuckers have two. Have one on my horse over there. Motherfuckers, it etched. With Ragnarok. That's what you put on it. I didn't, you bastard. Well, that it's makes his. more sense. I oh. plan on using it against Kettleman Gang. Their end, their Ragnarok. 
It was meant to kill Deputy Marshal Ortega. But that motherfucker never shows his face except gun auctions. Well then. That should be easy for you then. On oh, they publish in the paper. Yeah, I'm not gonna just ride up and blast him in the face. Oh, I'll do it for you. I'll give me a pump action for free. <laughs> <laughs> but all jokes aside, that information you have used at first. You know, they also have other enemies. I wouldn't worry about that. Any enemies he has, he'll egg them on himself. You don't need to instigate. I would instigate no. from within. Because if you do not be careful, if he's all of a sudden at war with several parties, you will back them into a corner, and no matter what, they will be strong together. You need those cracks, so that Mills and Alice and the Quills have other options to not corner them. A cornered snake bites deepest. You need to know something else. Has nothing to do with Mel. Has nothing to do with this war. It involves one of yours. While I was in Sisica, I was approached. I was leaned on about the loan, about the 15,000. if I owed him something. Then he tried to manipulate me. Whisper in my ear to kill Everett and take over the West. Be the king out there. And perhaps you, perhaps him, be the king out here. Oh He's got the subtlety of a fucking brick. He didn't say it in such words, but it was clear from the beginning it was manipulation. And in order for me to run my business the way I needed to run and I needed to be the one in charge and I needed to take out the lead. I assume we're talking about Edwin. The same. Well, I can assure you that he doesn't speak for everyone here. Only I know I he doesn't. Do. Not very well aware. Does Everett know this? Yes. He doesn't care. He understands it's just Eddie. All right. Get me this meeting. We'll sort things out. Oh well. One more thing. This war. And I will tell this to them as well. Van Horn is neutral. You may come here for medical. War does not come to these streets. You think Jack will honor that? He sees one of us in these streets. If Jack comes in here to kill you in your hospital bed, he'll go through me first. You know, when we struck an agreement, I told you I'd never play games with you. And I never will, being honest with you about everything. This is actually what the West needs, a cleansing of the old brain rot. Oh, I agree with you. 
I was like, oh, this is it. And so it's like, oh, when he told me that he ran back to daddy. That Kettleman gang is living off past glory. They have been for some time. But you have all you need to win this war. And you have it. Where you don't have to lose anybody if you play it smart. He's a very volatile creature, but he's predictable. Very unique combination. Use it to your advantage. Win the war. Then, and only then, will the bosses be seen as the West. Then you get the respect you desire. Average should be around night, but he comes around very late. <clears throat> will you let me know? Oh, well. Remind me what that guy's name is with the beard that's talking real loud. Wesley. That's right. There's only three people I carried a gun for. Jack. Hey, Jen. You. And bastards. No, there's only two. That I would. We're gonna make this world a better place, Wallaby, when this is done. We're gonna make it a place livable for people like us. Oh, I agree. against us is our enemy. Live free. Be safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Huh. Well. He's got more than enough ammo, bro. He has so much info. They'd be crazy not to use it, man. Crazy not to use it. Because Jack, Jack is very, he's emotional. And everything he told me, like, like, if Jack heard that shit, he'd probably stab the fuck out of him. There's a lot of things. And even if it doesn't, like, it's going to cause something. And the more inner turmoil that you can cause KG, the better. That's the way you get him, man. I think they need to really use the Fiverr thing because Fiverr is like, how many times did we hear Mills and Alice say Fiverr is like a daughter to them, right? Like, use that. Like, your daughter got shot. Use it. All right. The only thing that sucks about that is they might not need guns. So maybe Kettleman's do. <laughs> Maybe the Kettleman's do. Hey! What'd you do to your face? I can't stick this on. Oh god. Oh, are they still out? That's what uh, I said! Are they at Saint Denis? Uh, no, they're, they're gambling. Oh, right. Who's that? Is that Nancy? Hey. Who are those yeah. two ladies down there? Another clue. Did you you want me to go find that? Yes, please. Yeah. And you already have 11, then you'll have a 12, because that would go over 21. Oh, it's versatile. Okay. You're teaching how to gamble. Uh, no, she just didn't know what an ace was. She has our fucking money, do not teach her how to I'm gamble. I'm not. 
I'm not. No, I don't want to gamble. I just was confused. Where's Eddie? Mm -hmm. oh, good question. Haven't seen him. He tried to buy my my Onyx again today. I think that might be why he wants to do a bank job. I'm not gonna sell it to him. We wouldn't make any profit. Where did he, where did he go? Did you say? Uh, no. no, did not. He was gone when I. Uh, oh no, oh, hi there. He was gone when we walked out of the building. I thought. Huh. By the way, we got to talk about something he did. I want to know if you were aware. Okay. <coughs> well. A lady called Nancy and a lady called Annie. So I think it might be that lady. Yep. Ooh. There you yep, go. Yep, Nancy and then Alvin's girlfriend Annie. Oh Jesus, he's got another one. <laughs> no, he wants her. Oh, I think. A potential future. Got it. What do you hear? What do you say? Which one of you fine ladies is Nancy? <laughs> you okay, that cat? Perfect. I don't. I don't like a little. Just going with it. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Annie, I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. No worries. God damn, man. He's mining away. He probably fucking is, man. He probably is. <clears throat> you didn't get the notice? Yeah, this Twitch, man. I mean, what do you expect? We're downstairs. of a chance to speak no no we haven't but it's understandable you're a very busy man but i hear you've been doing many great things here i uh run a fight club here in this uh in this ring let me ask you who gave you authority to do that in Van Horn? No one. Non Jasper. No. Just to get a given... yourself. I had plans to do it when I first came to Van Horn. When I met Jasper, he gave me the push. Mm. Lion's Den was already a bit crowded. Mm, you saw this and saw potential. I did. I met Alvin shortly after and he enjoyed the idea and he encouraged well. Yeah, I like that. I like a woman that sees something and takes it. Something they want. You got balls to do that without contacting me, but I respect it. I would have uh, spoken with you sooner, but circumstances uh, didn't quite align. Mm. Oh, I understand. I've been busy. Tell me. Do you still ride with Jasper? <laughs> no. Why I haven't not? ridden with Jasper in a long time because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> mm. I don't like him. You don't like him? No. You tell him the truth? Yes. He wrote me by my fucking neck here in Van Orn and I put a gun to him. I don't like the man.
You tell me, Nancy, how much money do you bring in here? Well, we've had three events so far. First time, we turned a $300 profit. Second time, $500. Third time, over a thousand. Hmm. Oh, you see, I want you to continue to thrive. I want to be your friend. You are using Van Horn. I think it's only fair we get a taste. Nothing too much. Nothing to put you out of business. But as partners. I think that is more than fair. I am lacking a... Some semblance of a service at the club security. I don't have anyone that has been quite reliable to do that. If it is something that can also be provided, I'm more than happy to uh, offer a generous cut. Scout, can you organize that? Can do. Now, with your generous cut comes a couple of things. It means if you have a problem with someone, you come to me. If someone is misbehaving, you come to me. Your friends become my friends, your enemies my enemies. Do you understand? I understand. Good. When it comes to Jasper, you are right. He's not very smart. Tell me. Did he come to you with a plot to kill me? No. He wanted me to run his lemon trade business and be secretary. I wasn't in with the inner circle that he has. Hmm. So you know very little. Yeah. I ran the legal side of things. I kept the receipts, the invoices. They didn't tell me any plots they had other than fucking lemons in Guama. Is there the way you operated was stupid. About me. Not with me. I just don't like him, I don't trust him, and he's treated me very badly. And I don't want anything to do with him. My priority has always been the fight club and running business in Ligny. That's always been since day one. I think she knows more than she's letting on, but I don't want to push too hard. More on. In the future, he comes to you of anything, you come to me. And your home is here in Van Horn. Van Orn has been my home since I moved to the crossing. Good. And this arena here is yours. From here on out. Until I say different. But I have a feeling you're not gonna have... ...any reason... ...to lose him. If you're smart. I named the club after Van Horn. I intend to keep it that way, and it operates exclusively out of Van Horn. Good. Keep doing what you're doing. Scout will organize what you need. Sounds good to me. Lovely. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. I look forward to future uh, business. Me too. It's a pleasure meeting you. Course. 
you should know that uh, Alvin's got her marked down as a flip-flopper in her book, or his book. She came to the crossing with Jasper, as far as I'm aware. At the same time, I mean. Mm. And uh, they have been in and out of friendship since she's gotten here. Oh, so I know. that she could go either way. Me. I know. I know. I'm testing. We'll see what she does. I have faith that someone with a business mind knows when to jump ship. Let's hope so, for her sake. Hmm. Flip flopper usually sits where they're safest. And where is she more safe, me or Jasper? Not even a question. What are the odds that Eddie's over in a mine mining away right now? Because he got rid of all the gems. Mm hmm. Um. 50 50. Oh, well, we, he could be counting them up, I suppose. He could be doing that. I would hope so. Takes all the gems and he disappears with them, so. I would assume it just keeps them somewhere. Wesley. Has he been disappearing with my gems? Oh, um, uh, yeah. Go up top and see if he's around. All right, will do. I want to tell you something. I want to know if you knew this. Spoke to Jesse Gold. Apparently, Eddie approached him about the 15,000. Told him that as a way to compensate for the investment that he should murder Everett and take over the bastards. Jesse told Everett this. I want to know if you were aware of Eddie's plan to set up a fucking coup out west. No, I was not aware. <laughs> I'm not aware of 99% of the things that Eddie does. Well, lucky for us. Or well, lucky for him, more so. Now, lucky for him. There you go, Ed. They don't really take his word for meaning much. So they didn't take it as us doing anything or plotting anything. They put it down to Eddie being Eddie. Otherwise, that would be another fire that I'd have to put out. It's become a second career for me. Yeah. Well, luckily, Harry and I are very, very good friends with the bastards. And I hope that they would, uh... Know that we would never do such a thing as that. Without your say-so, at least. That's more than one footstep. Oh, good. The prodigal child has returned. How'd you go? Eddie. Yeah? How'd you go? How'd I go? Uh, with the gems, um... About, uh, six grand. Six thousand dollars worth of gems. Yep. How long have we been saving them for? For a while. Mm. I mean, it's not terrible. Less than I was hoping. Is it? Is that, um, market value? Yep. So we could squeeze a little more. I don't know, man. I mean... You know, the idea is you want to do, like, a big gem deal. Right? And I hear... 
you know, I hear people, you know, they be doing deals and stuff with it. And I, and I, like maybe a month ago, I was talking with Victory Street. And I know they doing whatever and whatever, but, you know, people, business is business. And they said they would buy gems and stuff for, for more prices and stuff. I feel like we just should still wait. Collect more. I feel like we need to get back Where to work. Where are you work. storing these gems? In a scare place. What a family member. I can't member. see how you could be storing all these fucking gems. I got a family member storing it for me. Which one? Can't tell you. What do you mean you can't tell me? No, oh, I like to keep things like That's that secret. Gems. You know? They're not your You're right. gems, they're round gems. You're right, that means they're very valuable. So if you die, who do I collect them from? Oh, don't worry, I got an old will drawn up. I'm I won't so be hogging anything. You can siphon me that if I perish. You left down gems in your will, that's very generous of you. You know, I, I think that Noah might, might be there. Do you know what fuck I'm about <laughs> By the way, we got to talk about something. Did you tell Jesse Gold to kill Everett? Yeah. Why? To end whatever beef they had. I felt like the guy lacks a bit of motivation, you know? I never had to unpack you that. You see a problem with it? I do. <laughs> Go on. There are friends. Some of our only friends out west. The bastards. Everett. He's a very important ally. No, Adelaide's worse, surprisingly. Who is Everett? <laughs> Wait, you don't even know who you're sending someone to kill? No. There's a little bit of context yeah. to it all, but does it really matter at the end of the day? Yes, it does. Does it? Yes, it does. I think the problem was with the conversation I had with Mr. Gold was, is I don't see what the obstacles are. And why he hasn't achieved on this whole thing that he says that he's going to achieve with running because business out the West. It's not as simple as taking over the whole West within a day. It's going to take time. You're right. They're currently in a situation with the Kettlemans. I believe when the Kettlemans are dealt with. So our business hinders on the Cummins now? Or it no. hinders on Jesse's actions against the Kettlemans? Jesse, I invested in because I believe his vision for the West benefits us more so than Jack's. But while Jack is alive, he is still the West for many folk. Let me ask you something. How many times do I gotta accept this? Where's Van Horn? I don't give West? a fly. Fuck project. if you accept it or not. You don't have to fucking like it. But you will respect it. I think I made it very clear that I don't. I know you have. Because you went out of your this, way to undercut me yet again without talking undercut to me. Undercut you. You told someone to assassinate someone using the money that we put forward. Some I told the leader of the bastards, mind you. I told him clean up his mess. Fix whatever bullshit's going down in the West and get back to business. Kill whoever you gotta kill to That's make that happen. That's not what you told him. You told him to kill Everett and take over. He seems to be him. the one that's hindering him from doing that. Is that so? Well, something must. You went out of your way 
to plot something without telling anyone. I didn't go anyone. out of my way. I was in prison. Oh, so it was just a lazy idea then. You got damn right it was. Then you're reckless. Because that's what the West is, is a then lazy you idea. you are reckless. Reckless. That's right. Being reckless is a little bit like a liability. You know, we can't have that type of recklessness in this organization. I'm not sure what that even means. It's not hard not to plot against people who aren't our enemies. For seemingly no reason. And that's what I'm doing, plotting? What would you call it? Not plotting. <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. <laughs> Fuck me. I was wrong. I'm sorry, Eddie. <laughs> you got a problem with me, man? Seems like you do. No, I do not have a problem with you. I have a problem with some of the decision making. I haven't been making any decisions. That was a very big decision you made, and now you're you just saying. Want me to make a decision? How about I go hunt down that gold and squeeze whatever money I can get out of it? Why can't you see what we're doing here? I don't want to see it, man. I know you don't. That's because whatever the it is problem. you're seeing, it, it's not working. I don't know. I think it's not we're paying thriving. Out. Are we? Mm -hmm. Just because you say it is, don't mean it's true, man. We sell them diamonds, those gems. We bank the money. You desperate for money that badly? Yeah, I am. I've well, been then, for a while. It. Done. You have no idea what I've been doing. How the West is being forged in the image of what I want. Damn my team speak. Have to do the rubby ear thing. <laughs> uh, that's there. Uh... Oh. Oh, it crashed again. Hold on. Hold. There we go. My apologies. As I was saying, the West is what I'm making it. I don't expect you to see that. Or maybe you just don't want to see it. And you do not see just how much in shambles it is. I don't know if I can get behind this. What's that I got behind? Yeah, whatever this is. West business. You don't have to do a damn thing. I'm doing all of it. Oh, and what you do never affects us. I say it affects us less than you trying to assassinate a leader of a gang. Is that what he took away from that? What do you think? He went right to Everett and told him of your little idea. And you know what Everett said? What? He laughed and said, that's just Eddie. Nothing to take serious. That's the reputation you have. 
and your plotting. They should count your blessings because if he didn't think that way, he'd probably be dead by now since I was in Sisica and I couldn't put out that fire for you. Oh, fuck off, man. <laughs> Where you going? Yeah, we'll see now if I plot. Uh, there he goes. Start another fire, I would assume. I ain't chasing him. Hello. No. Let him go. No. Let him go. Plotting? What was plotting? Never mind. Are you shady as fuck, you always has been. Always looking out for his interests. I'm done chasing him. He don't want to be here. Then fuck off back to the manor for all I care. You can keep the gems too. It's a guarantee he's never going to give them back. He never planned to. Six thousand is far less than... Oh yeah, and we're talking months and well, months of gems sure. and banks and that's all it comes to. Yeah, I mean, uh, I robbed the fuse well and gave him a load of gems, so I, I feel like it should be a lot more than that. You know, he's probably riding out west right now to kill Everett. You know what I should have done? Should have let him stay with Jack. He'd fit right in. I'm gonna check my telegrams. Everyone wants to come along. Yes, yeah. Sure. Hey, I mean. I can't chase him, man. It's like. I don't like, I don't like being mean to Eddie, but he gives me, like, he gives my character no option. Like, how many times is he just gonna, like... Need it, being honest. We have a... <sighs> it's like, I got... <sighs> my character is That's fundamentally really not Good reckless. Read it. And he continues to be reckless and then just be like, fuck you if you don't agree. It's more so for reference. And he continues doing it. It's like, I, I can't, I, it's, it's like, does he want me to be Hello. like, does he want that reaction? I don't know what he Hello. wants. Harry. He must. What if you give your book to Harry? So we can have it all on hand. Would, is, are you comfortable with it? I think he lies to us constantly. Is the kind of the vibe I get from him. He's always, I, I feel like he lies to us just as much as he lies to his enemies. Is how it feels. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Like, I, I, th I think that, um, like, I want him here more than anything, but I just don't think his character wants to be here, truly. I think he's very conflicted about whether to be here or with the Braithwaites. So maybe the option is just to let him go and build the Braithwaites. As much as I hate that, because I love Eddie so fucking much. But how, like, you're plotting constantly against us. It's like, it's fucking hard. I don't know, man. And he always, man, he, this is like the fifth time he's run off. It's like every time he gets criticized, he runs off. Just face it. Just face the fucking issue head on. You don't have to run away. And I've chased him every single time. I'm, I'm not chasing him again. You're shouting at the screen? What are you shouting at? Hey, Wallaby. No. If we need money, that milk lady still owes me four grand if we can find her. Which milk lady? 
Uh, the milk lady that used to come around here, the one that was trying to get a milk wagon. You paid for the wagon, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll keep that in mind. I gave her four grand. I even got a contract from her for it. He's never getting that money back, man. I don't even know if Keywave plays on the server anymore. Wallaby. Yes. That guy that came here, that Casey Banks, he rides, uh, robs banks by himself. Right. He gave me five hundred dollars. What? For nothing. He just gives away all the stuff he robs from the bank for free. Huh. Robin Hood. Last time he gave me an emerald. And he gave Curly a bunch of stuff too. I'm not sure. It's like yesterday he done a bunch of crazy shit that anyone else would got fucked up for, right? And then the, the very next day we find out oh, now he's like telling people to murder people in our name. Like, use the money that we, we've gave, given you. You owe us. Go murder Everett. It's like, why are you doing that? I say when he wanted to meet you. Why? Like, how am I supposed to fucking react to that? You, You're telling someone you that we gave you, money to. You, you owe us. To go to kill Everett. Uh, did Bradshaw say when he wants to meet? There's stirring, and then there's like blatantly just being against us, like, and just in it for himself. He gets bored when you're not around. I don't think that's an excuse, man. It's fucking, man. Oh my god, Eddie's one of my favorite characters. It's just, I need to stay in character. Like as much as OO says I want him around in character, it's like he's he's just so against everything we do. Oh, uh, here he is, my book, if you ever want okay, I already reference. Know this. Okay, I already know that. What was that? Oh, uh, here he is. Uh, my book, if you ever want to look at it when I'm not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. I'm gonna enough. grab some bandages and stuff. Do I need bandages? No, I'm good. Now he's probably gonna do something crazy. <laughs> Which, you know, no, I'm used hurt. to that. I think it's a lot of miscommunication when confronted Eddie doesn't clear it up. I mean, there's no miscommunication, man. He Why told he Jesse to do something very, very big without factoring in anything that Wallaby Remember, would say have, or anything anyone else would to me say. Oh, I had this yeah. telegram in my pocket. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's, I don't know, man. I got a telegram from Casey oh. Bank saying that he's hitting Rhodes Bank, and so don't. Majority if, of the time, we're doing not this situation. To yeah, fair enough. Not go there for a few hours. He said that about Valentine. Where's Pete, man? Um, they left right down where they went. Oh, right, they're waiting for Wesley. You can pass out the medical bags if you have 10 of them. Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> I'm not sure you needed that many. I, I was trying to buy bandages, I got confused. Oh, we're just waiting for Jasper right now, man. I got can, another butt. I can take two of them, Wesley. Yeah, that, that'll work. So, Wallaby, did Rod Bradshaw say when he wants to meet, or just today? Oh, I haven't heard back from him yet. Okay. Maybe he's having a night off. He might be on, but doubtful. Tell him to get on, man. Oh, uh, what, what? Tell him to get on. Where is he? I miss my boy. I'm right. waiting anybody. No. Waiting for Jasper at this point. And he's the one that left in the middle of the conversation. I yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he does really that. Bad he does day that. Yesterday. When he came out. He doesn't like what he hears, so he, he, he walks terrified. off. 
it's not the first time, him, probably won't be the last time. Then the next time I saw him, he was all fucked up. Maybe he just had a bad beat about you. I hate doing it, man. I fucking hate every part of that. I hate every part of that. It makes me feel shit. I fucking hate it. But, like, I, I, I gotta stay to my character, man. He literally is fucking us for no reason. And the thing is, Wallaby would forgive him, because he always fucking does. But just to outright deny it and like and, and, and try to spin it, it's like, why? Why, man? Like <laughs> Wallaby's got a soft spot for you. But you don't so have to spin it like he did nothing. You fucked up. Oh, no. Curly wanted me to ask if we are uh Sorry, Wallaby, don't get kicked. If we have anything to drop off today, bonds wise. I have a couple of stacks of them, maybe. We have anyone else that has some. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'll take those. Eddie might, or Pete might. Alvin, Wesley. Twenty of them, I think. So it's just you that has them. Eddie's messed up the script. All right, so I've got, I got about 20, I believe. Could just save it for next time. If you want. This Pete might have some. Yeah, that's all I had. I might know someone else who has them if we want to buy them. But... Mm. Oh, Zeus, how you doing, man? Thank you for the RP. Yeah, it was a cool scene. Did, did anyone else want a medical bag? Just one? Uh, Eddie sure. Eddie's sending someone to kill Wallaby. Pretty bad that uh, I wouldn't even be surprised. Where the hell you been, Wesley? I was in jail and then I was undercover in bushes. I lived in bushes for like a week or two. It was amazing. Interesting. My hair grew really long and then scalp stuck this on my face. You love Smokey? I do too, man. He just puts we, me in these fucking situations. Like I can't. Yeah. There's like. We went to St. Denis today and he, he stuck this on my face. It's like, the shit he does is even the worst part. The worst part is if you confront him about it, it's like, I'm a cunt for bringing it up. It's like, what do you expect me to fucking do? Not bring it up? Hey, you told someone to murder a gang leader that could potentially, if taken seriously, could get us all in a fucking war. And you want me to just be like, eh. It doesn't matter. It does fucking matter. There's consequences for doing crazy shit. It's like saying, you know, I light fire to the house, but I get upset when like the fire department shows up and tries to put it out. Like they're gonna do that. Just don't run after him this time. No, I'm not gonna run after him, man. Um, Bobby. I'm not, I'm, yeah. Uh, don't get mad at me. Okay. Good stuff. I just want you to. <laughs> I just want you to know that um, Matt is has all the nitro in my baking wagon. Why would I be just mad so you're about aware. that? Because I I don't know. I'm just letting you know. Where is Matt? I haven't seen him today. I haven't seen LJ either. I just wanted you to know that people were storing things in the baking wagon and you could too if you wanted. I don't have anything to store, man. Yeah, I don't have anything I need to store. So that's fine. Okay. Let me know when you see Jasper. Okay. She hasn't stored her mic out? Her mic sounds fine. What are you talking about? could really play into Wallaby's paranoia. Can't even trust his best friend. Well, he... I mean, Eddie's always been a... Um, I'm going to say... I'm not going to say liability. I think that's a bit of rough. It's not liability, but he's always been kind of like the wild card. Um, But it's a wild card who doesn't accept that he's the wild card. Which makes it awkward. Like, I shouldn't find that out from Jesse Gold, you know? Like, even if he had come to Wallaby and said, hey, I did this, 
At least it'd be some wiggle room as like, oh my god, I can't believe you fucking done that. But at least I know. Like, literally, I could be... Like, uh, yesterday, I was... Okay, this is what I mean. Yesterday, I was talking about meeting with the bastards. All right? He knew what he did. For all we know, we could be running headfirst into a fucking trap, and he wouldn't fucking tell me. He wouldn't tell me that there's a potential that there could be a problem. It's like... What are you doing? I, I could be walking to a fucking trap. Wallaby would legit meet the bastards by himself. And you're not going to tell me that you plotted to murder their leader? And you're upset at me because I'm upset? Fuck. I could be walking to a buzzsaw, man. Honestly, it'd be a fitting end, bro. I feel like Eddie's going to be responsible for my death one way or the other. They'll be connected somehow. But, but he was only trying to help you. <laughs> no. It's funny because Eddie can be like either the most diehard, like best friend you could ever have. But then he could just as easily be your worst enemy for the... not much reason. And I don't even mind that. But Versus the logic daddy. of, like, being upset that I'm upset or surprised about it, it never ceases to amaze me. Atlee, you think of a gifting out a sub to Blue Bonnet? Oh, look who's in the chat. It's Blue Bonnet. Speaking of Everett, how you doing? Perhaps Eddie needs to slip the fish as well. He would never, would never today. kill Eddie. It would have to be pretty bad circumstances for that to happen. I want my fucking gems, man. I want my fucking gems. Just take away this sign. We have a, a Dr. Thine who... Um... Who drops off free medical supplies. Any supplies, supplies for the, uh... A fight. Just so you know. Wow. Also, he's married or... He's a fiancé to Adelaide. Who's no longer with Tommy, but probably would go back to Tommy if he came back. All right. Very nice. Do you want to sit at the better box? No, I'm just going to sit here and think about things. Thank you. Okay. What about Joey's hat? That's one of the closets around here somewhere. God damn it, man. I would have preferred it if he just fucking punched me. Like, have a little brawl. I hate I hate that he leaves, man. Oh my god, every time it gets hot, he fucking leaves, man. Oh. No, Wallaby doesn't know about Malone yet. No one's told him. I need a Snickers. <laughs> I actually don't like Snickers. I mean, they're not bad. He can, he leaves. So he can think how to weasel out of it. No, I think he's, I think he's he's left to conjure up more fucking trouble. There's two things he's possibly doing. He's possibly going to the Braithwaite Manor and being like, "Fuck D G, fuck Van Horn. I'm now gonna run a saloon and be a fucking milkman." Or. He's riding to the West to stab Everett because Everett didn't take his threat seriously. <laughs> I got no idea. Or he's selling the gems and banking all the money himself and giving it to his auntie. That's a possibility too, if it hasn't already happened. I don't know. I don't know. He ran to auntie for sure. These fucking birds. <sighs> what the f He's plans to say his secret for long? Well, thing is, he, he's... I don't know. Fuck, 
course you didn't leave. So much RP left on the table. Anyway. Vengeful thing for 22 months, buddy. You're a monster. You don't like Snickers? Well, you know, I don't mind it. I'm just like, I'm not into candy, honestly. Versus my daddy. Is this the final straw for Eddie? Thing is, if Eddie came back, Wallaby would let him back in. But it's like, I'm not chasing him anymore, though. Like, usually Wallaby would chase and be like, Eddie, come back, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I'm kind of done doing that. He storms off every time I confront him with things that he does. He, he does these things. It's not like I'm accusing him of shit he's not doing. He does these things. People chase us. We're better than that, Verts. He's going to end up turning. Would I know the difference? <laughs> the only difference is he might shoot me. But he's doing everything he's power for other people to shoot me. He could have started a war with the bastards for no reason. No reason. And again, I'm not even... I, like, Wallaby doesn't even care as much about him doing that as him not telling him. Like, I was talking about meeting with these people. Why would you not tell me? Fuck. He's he's an enigma, man, because uh, he's single-handedly someone that Wallaby, like, trusts more than anyone, but equally doesn't trust. It's very unique. He's no enigma. <laughs> he gets away with a lot, bro. He gets away with a, a lot of people would have, would, would be outcast. Like, imagine if Alvin did half the shit. If he did half the shit that Eddie's done. I'm going to go take Luna out real quick, guys. And then I'm going to use the bathroom. And then I'll return. I will be right back. Hold.
All right. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Where I put my horse? Down the end here, right? I'm gonna send a telegram to Eddie. How's it doing this voice? Ah, uh, so far it's okay. Terry's probably tomorrow, bro. Don't worry, Eddie's having a great time at the manor with people who actually love him. Wow. If Wolby didn't love him, he would have been dead about 12 months ago. The matter would not put up with half the shit he's done the Wallaby. Are you fucking kidding me? Get him the hammer Adelaide's facing with a fucking hammer and see if she forgives him. Do this in the most loving way possible. <laughs> I'm just going to tell how it is. Months ago. Wait. Hang on. Let me just change my battery for my headset. time I think you have figured it out you do and say things that contribute to my thought thoughts thoughts that you aren't happy in Van Horn Months ago, you told me that the manor and your family were no longer your home or family, and that Van Horn and DEG was. You instantly went back on that and ran back to your auntie. And I didn't do anything about that. You made a 
choice, but wind. Choice. If you couldn't separate from them, then that is fine. But why lie to me? Every time we make up and get on the same page, you go out and make dealings or plans that can have drastic wait drastic that's ball right effects on van horn and then get surprised when i learn about them diet might be better You suggested Jesse kill the leader of BG. You knew that if that got back to them, that it could end in blood against us. Yet you sat there yesterday and listened to me talk about meeting with them and didn't fucking tell me that you were plotting against them. I, we, could have walked into a fucking ambush You left us all in the dark and when and I shouldn't have to find out via Jesse. And to top it off when brought to you you choose to run away. I will not chase you, Eddie. You need to figure out where you fit in and where you want to be. You will always have a home with me, but I no longer desire to convince you to stay. Do what you want and make a choice that you stick to. Follow me. I think that's fair. I think that's fair, man. P.S. Give me the gems. I'm not even kicking him out. If he comes back, he comes back. But he needs to decide what he fucking wants, man. If you're not happy... You know? Angry? No, I'm right, man.
convince you to stay or chase you. If that means you are doing your own thing, then so be it. I will respect whatever it is you want. As much as that hurts. my telegrams again before I leave. Your heart hurts for Eddie? Oh my god. <sighs> Literally could have got us all fucking killed. And he doesn't tell us. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. That's like, you know, that's like Wallaby, that's like Wallaby talking to Mills and telling Mills, I want you to assassinate Jack Kettleman. Here's $15,000 to do it. And then Eddie says, I think I'm going to meet with Jack Kettleman today. And I'm like, yeah, go for it. Like... Craziness. Every time you get come out of jail, you fight with Eddie. I don't mean, I mean, I don't mean to fall out with Eddie, man. Like, honestly, yes, they could have been a fallout, but I fucking let it go because I didn't want one. But it, the punches just keep coming, man. Like, why am I finding this out from Jesse Gold? hell he likes to cause fractures i'm fine with the fractures man it's the the shock and casey and... banks robbed a bank he's giving away free stuff again all right well have fun with that well go get some free stuff i don't need free like trick stuff. or treating i'm fine okay it's not even it's not even the fractures uh, man it's the the shock and the the insult for questioning it that's the worst part it's the disbelief and the, well, the insult that he takes from you. From, uh, that fella's handing him out like Christmas candy. Well, wait a minute, how many you got? Uh, he just gave me 10 and 100 bucks. He just robbed Rhodes. <laughs> why aren't we recruiting this man? Uh, we're not. I said, why aren't we? Oh. No need. He comes to us already. Everett involved his entire gang in a war to protect Jesse. Why would Jesse ever turn on him? Verts is my daddy. Like I said, it's not even the actions, man. That's not the worst part. The worst part is bringing it up to him. The return of the kid. Gotta love it. That's the worst part. Like, like, as ridiculous as it sounds, he's more, like, Wallaby's more pissed about how he reacts to it, more so than what he's actually doing, because he expects it from Eddie. Like, at this point, Eddie doing crazy shit is expected. It's the, the, oh, I can't believe you're saying this. 
Are you questioning me? And that kind of shit. That rubs Wallaby way more wrong. It's like how I got like how dare I have the gall to be upset about this. I must be fucking insane. I've run a goddamn room, man. This sucks. I don't need a double barrel. Why, why do I even have a double barrel? I mean, I guess I'll fucking... Yeah, whatever. Whatever, dude. The gaslight kid hates being gaslighted. Well, he doesn't gaslight, man. He gets upset and then leaves. Does anyone, no one took all this shit? Are you fucking kidding me right now? How have you not taken this? Okay, I thought it took more than six. This is a rabbit shotgun? Is it? I think this is the one that she used to try to invade Van Horn, right? Tell people you have three thousand dollars in your fucking pocket. Uh, let's give away. <laughs> this fucking guy's got three grand. Oh my god! Young Wallaby would have robbed him instantly. Bolito, how you doing? Thank you for the twenty-six months. Thank you so much. Yeah, I could switch the bag to a box. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I should do that. I should do that. It's not a bad call. You can interrupt him, he just gives it away? Yeah. It's a cool character though. Rob banks by yourself and then give it out. So he must just like hit two safes then, right? Like one or two safes and leaves? There's no way he does all the safes. There's no way he's doing all the safes. Is that lady? What the fuck is lady doing here? Good evening. Surprised to see you here. Oh dear. No, I'm wait. wherever I need to be. Have you seen Jin around? I need to deliver some supplies. She's wherever you need to be. Can't say that I have. Not today, at least. No worries. If you see her around, let her know I came by. I will. Lady was banned from Van Horn after the Boston stabbing. I can't remember that fucking far back. All right, we're going all in on one hand. What could go wrong? I hope he comes back, man, but fuck. I don't know. Pain in my ass. All in. One hand. First memory not very good. Listen, I played multiple characters and months go by and... There you go. That's an easy win, man. There's no way he's going to hit a 20 or a 21. Oh, what a shock. What a shock. It shouldn't be this predictable, man. It shouldn't be this fucking predictable. All right, one more. Great. Nice. 
Nice, nice solid seven. Great. Oh my goodness. We have to hit again. And a bust. Fifth. Oh my god. Fucking cunt. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna have to stand, I think, on a 15, which really blows, man. It really blows. But I'm just gonna have to hope that he gets a 13 and then maybe another 10 and just busts. Alright? Yes. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Hit no balls. <laughs> All right, we might go talk to Amadeo about this. Oh my god, I can't even talk about talk about the gems because fucking Eddie's got all the gems. Exactly. So point. why is one equal and one? The other isn't. I don't know. Yeah. No, it, no where again the today. Fuck is Jasper. Let's uh. Hold on. Would you like some money? <laughs> oh, I'm all right. Okay. Oh, me? How many safes are you cracking on these banjos? Uh, usually five. You're doing all five by yourself? Yep. How long does it take you? Ooh, uh, ten minutes less? I don't know. And why do you do it? If you're giving it it's out? It's fun. It's for, it's for the people. I just, you know, I rob the banks and then I, I give it back to the people. It's it's not my money, it's the people's money. The banks have it. The banks shouldn't have it. The banks... banks it's are, a modern-day Robin Hood. Here's the thing. Here's you ever tried to buy property, Mister uh, Wallaby? Can't say I have. Okay. Well, the way people normally buy property is you get this thing called a mortgage. The bank lends you money, and you spend that in the property, and then you pay it back. Here's the thing. You end up paying back more money than what the bank lent you in the first place. It's a total ripoff. So what I do is I break into the banks. One, I steal all the money and all the gold bars and all the whatever else. And two, I find the mortgage papers and I burn them. And that way the bank has no idea who owes the money and no one has to pay anything. It's like Robin Hood. Wow. It's about the same time it took me to decide. LJ! I it. <laughs> he walks fast and as he gets it's closer he walks between, slow. Uh, you know, this fucking 10 minutes. guy. This, this role player, bro. I think the fastest, Hi, I did Elvin. time one once, I did it in 12, but that was a particularly, that was a very fast day because I didn't have to do talking at the same time, no one turned up. I had to wait outside for a deputy to turn up so I could complain to them about their shoddy response How many time. times have you been arrested? Lots. <laughs> Lots. I think How often do you get caught? Day. Oh, most of the time. No, most of the time, yeah. I think I've gotten away from about six and I've robbed probably about 30. Now you tell me about the six that you got away with. Did the law show up? How do you mean show up? So you only get away when they don't show up. Oh no 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 no! Yeah no, they showed up. Yeah they showed up. How did you get away then? Um, evasive maneuvers. Uh, today I went to Braithwaite and I sort of fired a bow at them, and then they tried to charge in, and I just jumped off the balcony and ran away. I had to run the whole way from Braithwaite to Saint Denis to get another horse. I am exhausted. All right, well, lovely to meet you. We're going to head out. Go have a wonderful day. Don't rub roots. Right. Hello, well, LJ. Okay. Keep that in mind. Thank you. It's nice it's to meet right. you. Oh, so you're out there. <laughs> this fucking guy. He's been caught like 30 plus times and got away six. <laughs> I thought he was a prodigy. <laughs> he gets caught constantly. That's fucking funny, man. That is some good shit. <sighs> Fuck. To be fair, how many times have you robbed a bank soul and gotten away? Oh no, I no, no I'm, I I'm, I'm, I'm not dis diminishing that. Doing it just once is, is an achievement. Evening? But I Can thought he was like doing it constantly and getting uh, away like Robin you know, Hood. But realistically, he's getting caught like 9% of the, the time. Moon, it looks like it's night time. The thing I like about drinking coffee in the rain is it just keeps refilling itself. So the more you drink, 
Yeah, that's a great strategy. It's lovely. It's lovely how the world is just made in a, in a way uh, that uh, benefits you, isn't it? Mm hmm Yeah, it is. It's great. It's great. It's fantastic, even. Fantastic. Do you drink coffee, Harry? Yeah, I do. I make coffees Has all the time weight? for Wallaby. Yeah, she does. I could use a coffee right now, actually. LJ. What? Yes. How are you doing? Okay. How am I doing? I'm I'm doing somewhere between the worst I've ever been and the best I've ever been. Somewhere in between that range, I'm existing. Well, Eddie walked I, out. <laughs> walked out of what? Walked out of a theater play? Oh, he's upset again. That's Eddie. What do you expect? What do you yeah. expect? That's Eddie. Right now, yeah. mm -hmm. He'll be back. Lovely to meet you all. He'll be back. No, Remember when he walked out? Uh, oh, you should always chase him. No, I'm not chasing him. I'm done chasing him. Just a little bit to the edge of town. Everyone loves a little chase. I mean, this sounds serious then if you're not chasing well, him. The thing is, he was plotting. He told somebody to murder a leader of another gang. Then refused to fucking tell us. This fucking gang ended up telling me themselves. And this same gang is the same one I was going to meet with yesterday. And Eddie didn't fucking say a thing. I could have walked into a trap. And that motherfucker didn't warn me. That's Eddie. Yeah, you know what? That excuse is getting fucking old. Which is why I'm not chasing him. How many times we say that's Eddie? I just accept it. Not anymore. Anyone else would be fucking shot. Then shoot him. I'm not fucking shooting him, you savage. Get out of here. No. I'm just giving constructive criticism. I'm having a conversation. Back off. I'll enjoy my food on the pier. All right, let's go for a little ride. Are we chasing Eddie? No, we are not. <laughs> Who are we chasing up? then? Just going into town, seeing if the Italians are around. You remember Pearly, right? Oh, uh, I don't know if he hates me or not. I was, I, I made a list. I actually made a list last night of people that I was going to apologize to. Uh, I was going to apologize to Pearly. He was on the list. So it's good. Two, two birds, one stone. Uh, well, we saw him a little while ago, so he's around. Uh, uh, Harry, let's go. Well, I think it's two months. We're getting ready to head out, Harry. Okay. I'll be here when you get back. All right. All right. See you in a bit. Hello, do you hear me? Hello? Yes, okay, do you hear the music? Alright, cool. Fucking hell, Pina, I, I can't open my door. They'll let air in. She'll just come in and fuck shit up, man. Fuck. Alright. We're back, we're back. Fucking frustrating though, Jesus. She just pressed, dude, she just, she touches the right cable every time just to destroy the stream, every time. She froze my, how do you freeze a whole computer from one cable? I got no idea. <sighs> She's not on the computer. She she goes behind my monitors. Uh, or is it a one-way street? Now think very carefully with how you respond to that. Well, I spend most All of right. my time with Harry. 
I think oh. that then I would say a close second would be uh, Wesley here. Uh, Wesley, Wesley's right, right, right there, right next to it. It's too hard to decide even. All right. Don't give me Pete as well. Where's Pete? Uh, Pete was here yesterday. Pete, I saw Pete. I met Pete. It is. Perfect. All right. You ready to ride home? Yep. Yes. I'll see you later, Scout. All right. Goodbye, Harry. Oh, sorry, Harry. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Harry. Okay, oh, sorry, Harry. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't get shot. I was asking, uh, why are we meeting uh, with, with Mr. Pearl, if I can ask? Well, we have some bonds for sale, maybe. I see. Business, then. I just wanted to get out of Van Horn for a little bit. Any reason in particular? That's not what anyone else is telling me. Say I'm no more. I think Eddie I know exactly why. Doing something crazy. I have a bad feeling. Oh, of course, of course. And you're trying to preempt uh, whatever uh, no, no, no. retaliation comes to Van Horn, no? No, 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 he does what he fucking wants. I see. And you have no worry that someone's gonna come here looking for him? If they do, they do. I see. You always, you know, cut the length off. Get a nice little buzz cut. I just want to be able to move. You just get restless sometimes. I know exactly uh, what you feel. I feel the same way. Maybe we'll do a job. That's I'm sorry to say that was a There are a lot of people in Van Horn. I didn't realize that. And they're all uh, relatively nice. I did How did you feel you that we built about the man with the bow? Completely understandable. I get it now. Man with the bow. I'm indifferent. What? Sorry. Indifferent? Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, Harry came up and said that they're a very swell person. They, they uh, Harry called them Robin Hood. Seems to be a generous fellow. I find people that uh, give money to all those around them are not doing it out of kindness, but they're seeking approval. Is that so? That's why I don't give money. You have money, Alja. No, I don't. But if I did, I wouldn't give it to anybody. Wise. I'd, uh, I'd put in a big hole somewhere. And then when I die, I, my dying breath, I tell people to look for it. Tell me, how was it in them caves? <laughs> Those caves were... <laughs> lonesome. They, uh... Being there just by myself. I don't, uh, I, I, I don't wish for that to happen again. You're here till the end, Elder. That's what I'm hoping for. Times 
So, should we save up another 10 to make it even 1,000? That might be the play. Hey, Bloods, how you doing, man? What's your favorite soundtrack so far? It's a good one, man. It's fucking fire. LJ's nuts, yeah. Love LJ. Chenzo's need to come back. I don't think they're coming back, man. I think they're all in on GTA. And plus, you know, there, there was more than just them anyway. There's a lot of people that stayed on the server. I think it's a real... Uh, really good RPers. I think that'd be a real and, dirty thing. You know, they'll hold it do, down. You know? Probably should rename the group, though. And instead of the Chenzo's... Yeah. yeah. Why, why have, their, has, have his own family well, thing. That'd be sick. Well, is the cousin of death, right? Well, imagine if your girlfriend cheated on you. Sound pretty awful. Who the fuck is this guy? How you doing? Good, eh? How you going? Yeah, more run. What are you doing over here? Oh, I'm just uh, waiting for, a, well, waiting for a mate actually. All right now. Oh, there they are. Yep, perfect. Mormon friend, are you a law dog? Yep, Deputy Keith Oath, how do you do? Have we met before? Ah, uh, not sure, Matt, who are you? No one. Oh, well, I mean, possibly. Not sure. Mm. You remember me, right? Remember the hole in the yep, ground? The yeah, no, I right remember. Down. Thank you. What a hole Hello, in the Wesley. ground. Hello, I, I left you in a hole in the ground for a while. A few days, I think. What are you sighing about? I am uh, just very tired, you know. Getting late and all that. Maybe you should sleep if you're tired. Mm. You want me to find your house and sleep in again? It does look like uh, I could be needed, you know. Needed doing what? Just, you know, my job. Protecting places. And what are you protecting? Making right sure now? no one gets up to anything. Well, right now, I'm coming out here to meet with my friend, uh, Keith over there. Hello, Keith. Yep, get out. Hello, Keith. Hello. It's also social hey, meeting. Keith. Well, social and work, you know, you got to combine the best of both worlds. I don't know about that. Seems unprofessional to me. I thought you law dogs all about professionalism. That you know, there's a fair amount of us. It varies a lot. Yes, it does. All right, well, enjoy the rest of your day then. Yes, yeah, Mr. Wallaby, sir. Says. Thanks for stopping. Yeah, me, I'm sure we will. Listen. It's the fucking mask, man.
Pillar isn't even a leader, guys. He's consig. It's either Armadillo or Scuff Party. I know what I what I'm saying is Pillar should do his own thing. I think I think he has enough sway that he could do his own thing. Oh boy. Another deputy? Was that Ned Fuller? Man, the life nothing to do. Maybe we should do something. Seems like a quiet day for law having a social gathering. I thought it was make really it not sweet. Quiet. Actually, I thought it was a very sweet thing. Did you know? Yeah. You're losing your touch, soldier. Oh, God forbid I think it's sweet. Nothing sweet about the law. Them motherfuckers are trying to take your freedom. You know that lady stuff in the toes, she's terrible. She lied to me, many times. No, I'm just out of town more than in it these days, so... Mm. Uh. Shame. It suited you. Maybe. Flawed. Air. How you doing? Getting younger every day. You don't look it. Ah, well. Looks her deceiving. Good to see you. It's been some time. And it has. They've been putting him away oh. longer and longer nowadays. I guess we're all getting older. Yeah. Well, good to see you're doing all right. Now, Living, at least. Oh, well, something. How's business, you? Ooh. Fair enough. I mean, it's a bit slow, but that's how it is these days. You'd think it'd be booming with all the killing going on. Yeah, you'd think, but, uh, I don't know. People are going with knives and machetes and all that heinous shit these days. Mm. Is that, that Pete? No, no, no. What? what? No, either. Wesley. By the way, oh. you're still working for that wagon company. I, I am. I'm, ba I'm running it now. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. How's that doing? Doing well. Do doing well, I think. Oh. Hmm. Fair bit. Most of it's just uh, goods and sundries, ice blocks, planks, and such. What happened to the banks? Uh, those still do happen. Uh, last now, or last time we, uh, I, I don't know, we got shot down for. <sighs> People seem to think that you transport valuable goods on all sorts of wagons and they get all upset about it. Uh, the Woods Gang called us a Western Gang and threatened to uh, hunt us down like dogs. Because we uh, had the audacity to shoot at them when they were threatening to torture us. Oh, well. Sorry to hear that, Bon. Yeah, well, don't worry, I put him on their ass. They were riding with Billy Boston of all people. I guess that's 
punishment enough. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I want um I want you to come talk to somebody. Follow me. Okay. Did he do, really do an elephant gun entirely in brass? Listen, when you have an elephant gun, no one tells you what to do with it. It's not brass, it's copper. Oh. Bang. LJ. Well, there he is. He'll be bang. I'm gonna check telegrams real quick. He's just having a little drink. Oh, yeah. Well, I had it. At Tall's ever. Yeah. How you been? Oh, you know. Same old, same old. You never got back to my telegram. Which one? Where the fuck did LJ go? He was just here. One about business. Don't recall getting a telegram from you about business. I apologize if that was the case, huh? Get a lot of telegrams these days. Figured as much. That's all right. This is just so fucking awkward. So speaking of telegrams, you get a lot back. Yeah, I read it. I ain't gonna pressure you any. No anymore. Yeah. Figured that. You know I want you around. But you need to want it. If you got any ideas on your own, you should pursue them. If that's what you truly want. If you're looking for ideas about business, I can offer some suggestions, but... Busy. Good day. Hello there. Hello. Well, uh, you know, I don't handle the, the firearms no more. You know, returning them and such. Mm. Uh, I told Alvin as much that uh, there's really no folk doing that. Taipan ain't around. And if they do, they ain't buying. Uh, the Pavy are probably the only ones nowadays. Yeah, they've always been good customers. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there's always diversity. Well, what work are you talking about? Uh, buying the firearms and, you know, reselling. I don't know if y'all are, uh, Versus working with the Pavy like you used to or not. But they're the only players in town nowadays. Well... We haven't done the gun trades for a while now. Oh, hey -o. Happy but I plan to get back months. into it. Mm. You buying? Nah, not anymore. Could I tempt you? You could tempt me. <laughs> but, end of the day, I think I'm done with it. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Someone you haven't seen in a while. Oh, all right. Thing is over by the telegram office. I'll meet you though. Sure. All right. Good see you, in Flood. Good seeing you too. Come on by. You need it. Think about what you want. If that means you want to do your thing, then fine. I'll do you one better. Them gems. If you want to do your own mm. venture by I yourself, you can use those to get yourself started. But this is it. This is the decision now. 
You take all the time you need. If you don't come back to Van Horn, I have my answer. Come back with what? What decision do I have to make here? Whether you're here with us or you're in this for yourself. You're asking me to blindly follow you on another no, crusade not. that doesn't no, make sense. I am not. You know, I spoke yesterday about meeting them bastards. All the while you knew what you did, we could have walked into a fucking trap. You didn't fucking warn me. You don't see a problem in that. I know you're not dumb. I know you're smart. You know, you know that's fucking. That's not the point. It is the fucking point. What's not the point for me? When I rode to Van Horn yesterday with you and LJ, I said we run Van Horn, us three. How yeah, can I, I justify I don't know. that when you are completely fucking me every time I turn my back? Fucking you, man. I do nothing but listen to what you gotta say. I do nothing. I made it a point to do nothing. So I could get some clarity, so we could all get back on the same page, so we could all decide together about what we really want to do, okay. how we want to prosper. But no, you have your own ideas, and, and you're not listening to anybody else, and I think it's a complete farce. Really? You gotta take other opinions on this matter, because it's gonna end in some sort of conflict that drags the rest of us in. Tell me. And how many, how many people are gonna stick by that? Could you tell me how telling Jesse Gold to go kill Everett was you trying to come up with ideas? Tell me how that isn't you going to bat for yourself. Do tell. You know. Well, what else did he say about that conversation? Because if I made advancements to, to uh, and suggestions to want to kill Everett, I hope Mr. Gold understands that conversation was also telling him that if he doesn't do something, maybe I might come for him. Maybe I start might acting you concerned. As I said. Are you in this for yourself, or are you with us? No, there is no us right now. It's you, it seems. How so? It's you in the West. I don't see how you don't see it. I would have met Everett by myself because I have no reason to think he'd want to hurt me. All the while, you gave him a reason if he wanted to and you didn't warn me when you sit here and act like that's nothing. Warn you? Nothing needed to be warned about. An ambush? Tell me something. If anyone else in this fucking gang went out and told, I don't know, Mills to kill Jack Kettleman and that DEG will fucking pay for it because they're his indebted to us. And then that same person sent you and I to go meet with Jack without telling us. Do you know what would happen to that fellow? He'd be fucking dead. Okay. Say, for example, I admit my wrongs. And say, you know what? I shouldn't even have meddled in any of Gold's business or suggested anything about making any sort of moves at all in the West. And that is a complete misstep on my behalf. Should never bother. I'm not capable of it. Okay. That still leaves us with the fact that this crusade agenda, investment, whatever you want to call it. I don't support it. I see no sense in it. 
Eddie, it's not that you make moves. It's that you do it on your own volition. Something like that is big. Causing the death of a gang leader is big. And you made that call by yourself. And? Go on, okay. Let me be crucified for those actions. The I point still stands as. You. It's the lack of vision. You don't see it. That's the problem. Could, I know your you make vision is plays. skewed. No, 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 no. You think I don't hear about all the stuff you do? I let all of it go. But when I do come to you with something, when it's something that has dire consequences, you shrug it off like it's nothing. Trump. And as for this out west, uh, apparently he uh, he rode off to talk to someone, so I'll wait by the, the shop. All right, I'll be there shortly. The west months ago were stronger than they've ever been. We had a meeting with the Dicenzos and spoke about how the west was fully united, strong, stronger than the east even. Slowly, we have picked them apart from a distance, and they are in shambles. We picked them apart? Yes. Why, with your magical investment? No, more than that. More than that. We've been running after law. You do not see it. Yeah, you're right. I don't. Because it's clearly not obvious. And that is why it's working. I have meddled in their affairs for a long time now. Mills, Alice, Gold, the Preacher, Jack. All of it. Jack is at war now. Jack is on his last legs. Death is coming. Jasper's awake in Van Horn. All right. We gotta go see him. When the dust settles, the future of the West will be Jesse Gold. And he will be indebted to us one way or the other. We have sway with him. We could cash it in now if you want. I could go ask for the money back, sure. Or we can be patient. And farm that fucking gold mine that is coming. $15,000 is nothing. I did not invest money to make $5,000 profit. Or even ten. I invested money for influence. You don't agree with it. Fine. Doesn't mean you have to undermine and use that money to do what you want. Least of all without telling anybody and having me look like a damn fool by finding out from him and not you. I'm gonna go deal with Jasper. You think about what you want. You talking to Vera? Who? Oh. Vera, one of his old friends. 
Hmm. Now, is all the war stuff happening because of Wallaby? No, of course not. But we have had a hand in it. A lot of this happened because of the preacher situation. Also, feeding Jack information that got his emotions up. Shit like that. We've definitely fanned the flames. We've definitely been fanning the flames. And we've also got... Like, you know, we're advising Jesse as well. Because Wally doesn't think that... Jasper's awake in Van Horn. Um, Wallaby thinks that BG, they definitely can war for sure. But that's not going to be beneficial to them. Even if they defeat KG, they're going to take losses. It's better if KG, or more so Jack, is completely annihilated. Which is what Wallaby wants. By the way, I don't want that OOC because I fucking, I, I want a roleplay of Jack. But I'm, I'm sticking to my character and the character is giving advice that he thinks would defeat Jack. And he has the ammo to do it, man. The stuff that he told Wallaby are far more deadly than a bullet against KG. Not even close. Where are bones, is he? Well, you went riding off, so in that direction. All right. Away from think the combat, too and then went back to Van Horn to do with Jasper. All right. Hey, I think Wallaby offering Eddie to take all the diamonds to invest in a business if he wants to start one is very fucking, very generous, man. Now that's an interesting design. Not a fan. I can see why he want to do it up. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah, you know him. Uh, this is uh, JJ. He's uh, one of my employees in Bluestone. Oh, right. One of the security fellows, huh? Mm -hmm. How's you business? Are. Business is all right. Good to hear. I don't know where the motherfucker is. Oh, we might have to get him going, so... Yeah, no, I heard him. who it was. I heard who it was, so... Uh, it's good to hear he's back with yeah. you. Do me a favor, you see Eddie walking around, keep an eye out for him, alright, making sure he doesn't get himself in trouble. Yeah, okay. I'll keep an eye. Take care of yourself. You too. This fucking wagon can fuck I right bet. off, dude. What, what, when is your wedding? Yeah. Uh, yeah. we don't I have a date you, for you. Okay, it's still being planned. Okay, okay please, you have my married. information, right? Yes, yep. I do. Please, please, please send me something. I will be there, I promise. Okay. I'm, I'm net. Okay, leave. Okay, Go. I'll be fine. You ever do. We're good to Goodbye. Go. Yeah, we're good yep. to go. This way. I'll Bye. keep that in mind, Wesley. Be I'll see you. Be safe. Let's go see Jasper. Hello. 
Bradshaw, it might have been. Even, uh, even if it was, I don't want to pull up on him five, five six deep. What do you say? And you have to ask Wallaby that one. All right. So what did he say? Eddie. Edwin. Yeah. Not much. I told him to take his time and think about what he wants. He doesn't come back to Van Horn, and so be it. Uh, Eddie, Eddie doesn't know what he wants. That's kind of a big problem with him. I think he'll show up, but he will still won't know. Well. I enjoy the no more. Third. I feel like this has already happened twice. I haven't even seen him. I'll talk to him. And what are you going to tell him? Uh... I was thinking more about doing something to him. No. Well, like, no? Him. No one touches him. Okay. Uh, well, I'll think of something else then. Touch him with love. <laughs> that sounds worse. <laughs> hey, LJ's, LJ's all about love. Yeah, LJ's all about that's love. That's right. That's right. Everything I do, I do with love, Wallaby, and that's a fact. Is that why you're telling us so? That's what I know. I've missed you, Alger. Yeah. So. <laughs> I hope Eli's there with us, man. Ganon. God, I hope, I hope they're all there. Jeff the sign, shut up. Going back to the old fucking charming the women with his obvious creepy personality. <laughs> Maybe LJ can charm Renny. Yeah, right. That's actually a good point. Where is Renny? She needs to get in on this RP. I need Renny to show up just randomly. Or maybe I'll take him to to a BG meeting and hope hope she's there. Are you gonna kill me to will you let me go at my wedding? I mean that seems like a normal thing to me, Pam. GTA. Ah, oh, boo. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Just having fun on there, man. That's what's important. I know she plays Renny from time to time. It'll happen. Jesus Christ, Scout, what are you doing? What the fuck is Scout doing? Scout down! Ow! Ow, okay, I'm sorry. I should have you
like a long-term project. <laughs> a long-term project. You're like, uh, you're, I just have to keep you around. I'll be there. What the fuck? There's a snake. There's Why? A snake. Hello, Harry. Yeah, you Hello. Have to... I'm gonna be a father. Congratulations. At a wedding. I'm, uh, <laughs> walking someone down the aisle. At a wedding. Okay. You know that? You know that? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I thought you were talking to me. I thought we were having a conversation, Harry. You've been talking to him all We're going down below. True one, like, where is the Lion Gannon? walking away from me right now. I haven't seen him in... There's Jasper. I think Eli and Gannon wake up later. Uh, so this guy kill whoever it was you asked him to kill? No, he failed. Ah, uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> no. There's more. Frantic last night. Okay. Hmm? Well, I... It's a real shame what you're gonna have to do to him. I actually liked him a lot. I thought he was interesting. I thought he was a little handsome. Uh... But, uh... Uh, he failed. I don't like that sound. I don't like that, that sound either, because it sounds like he's up on the hill up there. It's fine. They're going down the tracks. <laughs> well, he has some answer to do. Just, um... Don't get him in the face. He deserves an open casket. <laughs> Who says I'm gonna hurt him? You did. I did. You did. I think there's other ways to teach him a lesson. He has friends, right? Oh, that's even with that's him, that's yeah. that's even more evil. I'm not evil. I'm necessary. Oh. <laughs> Understood. What about you? What about me? Do you still have it in you to do what has to be done? More than ever. I look forward to that. Maybe I'll have you do it. <laughs> I've bled enough people for a lifetime. We're gonna wait until one of all of his friends show up. Then we'll have a little chit chat. Resting up. Hi, Gannon. Howdy. Oh, Gannon. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Jasper, can you wake him up? Or will he be resting for a while? He usually wakes up in about an hour. Mm. He's got a tight schedule he sticks to. Very he tight. He likes his beauty yeah. sleep. Oh, good. Well, we'll have a little talk when he's around. I think it's important that he be here.
Or maybe... Ganon. Yeah. I think you all have to be a stand in for real life. Up you get Jasper. Come with me. <coughs> we have a lot to talk about. Way. Damn snake. on you Belgium. unfortunately not yeah thank you does anyone have Nancy's telegram Yeah, I've got it at the, uh, I've got to say, Telegram guy knows it. Mm -hmm. Alright, never mind. Everyone inside. Poor Ganon. <laughs> Seem to be struggling. You all right? Nope. Someone took a, a machete to my chest. Oh, that's a shame. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, here. Yeah. Rest. Rest on this stool. You don't want to exert yourself now, do you? We wouldn't want that. Now would we? A fucking trap. Went to do what you asked. I didn't buy himself, and it was a trap. He knew somehow. Said it was too big of a coincidence oh. that I wanted to speak business with him when you got out of prison. So he set a trap for you because of a coincidence, is what you're telling me. His words. You treated me as a fool. Is that what you're doing? Why else would he do this? So you show up at this meeting and it's a trap. 
It was just you were near lie there. No. And what did you talk about? nothing to talk about he had a gun to me and Eli and he made it clear that he wanted to send a message he wanted me to go back to you and say that they're coming it's a bad time they dealt the first hand or some poetic bullshit mm. and you didn't say nothing you cut me up You didn't tell him that I sent you, right? He just assumed and then carved you up, is what you're telling me. He already knew. He already knew. So you're telling me you organized a meeting, went to said meeting. He assumes that it's in bad faith because I'm he, out of Sissacar. He organized it. Word got out I was looking for him. Now how did word get out? What were you doing? I saw someone that was with him in Guama from Guam and I said I needed to organize a lemon deal at deal and that spark because is... Kitty is close with Eli said we needed lemons for a grand opening she must have told him about 10 minutes later I got a telegram telling me the spot Wesley I, I realized they were gonna go all down regardless moment. Wesley, I want you to go up and tell Harry that when she sees Eli, to send him down immediately. Right. I'm going to make sure your story lines up with his. But you know what I think? Are you trying to get killed with me? Jasper. Are you yeah, trying to get spawned with me? No. You told me to tell you the truth, I'm telling you the truth. When I realized I was gonna gun us down, I tried to talk my way out of it. Ah, oh, and how did you do that? I tried to tug on his heartstrings a little bit, get him to trust me, maybe set something down in the in the line down the future so I could finish the job. Lower his guard, maybe. I didn't think he would cut me down to send a message. Didn't work, obviously. No, it did not. You didn't try to cut a deal with him. I did. I said, give me a hat. And I'll pretend like I did the job. And then we're going to go have another meeting. That's when I was going to finish it. Get him alone, maybe. Or at least get some of my folk to come help. I didn't think he would have five other folk with him. I've been seeing him alone. So you admitted that you were working for me? He already knew. He made that no, clear. No, he did not. He assumed that's very different. 
He outsmarted you. No, well, it'd be there was a trap set. Yes, it's funny that, All these that folk. you made up with him. No problems, but the one time that you intend to harm, he knows, right? Now, why would he think that? What have you said to him in the past that would make him think that? First time we met, when we were doing the lemon trade, he was pressing me on why I was from Van Horn. I told him that you were in prison. Don't worry about Wallaby. This is my company. He said. I was very suspicious that I haven't reached out to him or spoke to him since I've been back not dealing lemons and you got out of prison yesterday. That's why. you to kill Bradshaw and you couldn't do that one simple thing. A fucking banana tradesman selling fucking lemons. He's a glorified clerk. Now you've created a mess that I must clean up. Now what am I gonna do with you? Hmm? This whole thing was to prove your worth, your loyalty, and you fall flat on your face at the starting line. What am I gonna do with you? Tell me something, if you were me, what would you do? He said he was coming. You don't trust me, but you need men. It's yeah. clear he's on the offensive. <laughs> Hear that, boys? I'm in need of the man that was bested by Martina. <laughs> you are fucking adorable. fellow how you had anyone follow you is truly bizarre maybe there is a hidden brilliance to your stupidity how many chances do you deserve
lernen. Ja. Mal wieder. How long you been following this man? Long time. Long time. Tell me why. He's a good friend. Good friend. Looks after those around him. Oh, yeah. does he now? You'd be surprised. This man is a liar. A deceiver. He has no loyalty to anyone but himself. Isn't that right, Blondie? If you fucked it up. Bloody. Speak up. Your friend needs you more than ever. I don't fucking remember. Say something, Blondie. Say something. I want you to know something. Just how far the deceit flows. This man has been telling people that I have his sister. Isn't that right, Blondie? is your weakness you know when I met him his sister was ill or so he said and I out of the generosity of my heart offered help brought him here for money and all the while he sees Van Horn, he sees what I have, he sees me go to jail, and he sees an opportunity. So he gathers folk, but those folk start to wither away, their loyalties become weak, and he conjures up a little story, a lie. Lies, so or people have a reason to want me dead. Is this true, Blondie?
you put all your friends at risk. Every last one. What happens now is on you and I want you to watch it. what friends do. Oh, I guess that's what your friends do. Right. Your friends are there to be between me and you, so I ain't gonna touch a hair on your head. I am sorry, Ganon. I like you, I truly do. It would be a lie if he was around, but... He's wrong. innocent. I'm sorry, what? Has nothing to do with it. He's never even around. You made him part of this. You want another chance? I'm gonna give you one. But he's gonna pay the debt that you owe me for this failure. Blondie. Scout. Get behind him. Keep him still. I want him not to look away. LJ. Forward. I'm sorry, buddy. You should have so you, you should have chose some better friends. fought harder than you did <laughs> listen to me now time is of the essence he is dying if I were you I would hurry and get him help then when you're done you get back here and we talk about your second chance. your friend.
Power Range as well. Time is of the essence. So you have lost your touch. Give me that fucking knife. <laughs> Wasted four fucking bullets on him. Uh, Wallaby, I got him. I twisted the knife. What happened to the fucking who, grip? Well, who could have expected that he'd want to fight back so hard? Where was that fire when no, when you grab Julian someone, was there? When you grab someone, you gotta lock in around uh, the elbow. You grab him like this, they can't get out. All right? And you don't embarrass yourself by getting fucking smacked in the face. I didn't think he'd fight back. God damn it. Where was that fire when Julian was getting him? He Julian, wouldn't be Julian here. Julian never position. fucking got him. He wasn't there. Eli was there. Non gun. It's even more embarrassing. Oh, damn it. Look at this. Fucking blood footprints all over the place. We'll contact Nancy and get her to clean it up. Come on. <laughs> Fucking psychopaths, man. <laughs> I really didn't want to shoot him. His likelihood of survival fucking plummeted. It's a fucking just a stabbing. How hard is it to fucking stab somebody a couple times? Uh, I don't care. I mean, it was made pretty clear. I didn't stab him. You, you, you grazed him a little bit. I stabbed him. I got him in the kidneys. You got him in the kidney. I made sure. I twisted that knife. You twisted the knife. I don't know if you did twist the knife. I did. <laughs> Did anyone see him twist the knife? He twists the knife, get in his Matt, 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 shut up. You're fucking biased. I was standing You're right biased there. as fuck. Scout, did he twist the knife? I just saw the knife uh, go in and then him fight back. Simple as that. That's I what can't I tell. saw. I was in that's front. what I saw. If there was any I twisting, mean... it was him twisting his body out of your grip. <laughs> At the end of the day, I was on the knife side. All right. It looked like he twisted it, and then when that happened, he he sort of tensed up and elbowed him. Wesley, I think with all due respect, yeah. you got fucking goggles on. <laughs> all right, it's all right, LJ. My apologies. You're rusty. It was handled. It's been in, you've been in a cave. You're a little bit malnourished. There's reasons for it, but we'll, we'll get you back up to fit, fine, shape. Not a problem. So, how do we fix this Bradshaw situation? I do not desire any kind of war with a fucking merchant. Oh, well, he said he's coming, did he not? Yeah, but he telegrammed me saying that... He'd prefer if nothing happened and his business is his and mine is mine, so I offered a meeting. I guess we'll go from there, but yeah, it's gonna have to be at a neutral place, maybe Burley. I ain't walking in a trap with that one. L LJ, come here. LJ. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of everybody like that. It's just a more of a knee jerk reaction, right? No problems at all. All right, you know, just give a little bit of practice, right? Maybe, maybe go around the back of Van Horn, there's some potato sacks there. Just, you know, give them a little poke every now and again, you know. You can keep the knife, by the way, you use it. Bye.
by the way. I didn't want to mention this. It wasn't just the knife. <laughs> you kind of fumbled on your words before you stabbed him, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just rust. It's fine. You know, it happens to all of us. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes I'll say words that don't even exist and I just go with it. You just have to learn and go with the flow, right? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, you can go back now. <laughs> All right. So how's everyone's day going? <laughs> I'm feeling amazing. That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, so now what? Meanwhile, Jimmy's having the most intense, like, next 10 minutes of his fucking life. We're just in here talking so the now, dumbest um, shit. Jasper either schemes and turns against us, or he falls in line and does whatever Wallaby says. And what do you think he's um, going to do? He's 100% going to think. I don't know. I think, about he's gonna, that. I think he's going to scheme, but I also think he's really weak. Uh, Weak-minded. He's been scheming this whole time. Why does he suddenly stop? He's gonna have a whole lot less friends to scheme. <laughs> yeah, but he's got more reason to scheme now. One of his friends got hurt. Oh, well, exactly. I don't think he's gonna have the balls to do anything. Uh, he does seem like a, a very wormish individual. If I can say that. He didn't want to look again in the eyes. I was, I was really hoping, I was really rooting for him there. I, I thought he might uh, stand up and uh, ask to pay his own debts. But, uh, <laughs> You're right, he didn't offer shit, right? He just let him fucking take it. He just let the, he just let him take. He didn't he didn't even say anything. I I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna try. He didn't actually say his anything. Friend. I just thought I couldn't hear him. No, no, he didn't say anything. He, Either he he kind of muttered something out at the end, but it was it was so quiet. It was barely audible. Um, he didn't even want to look at him. Pathetic. <laughs> I tell you what, the the way that these characters talk after something that that horrific, I think is more natural I think and more real than like brooding and shit. Nothing emboldened. Because psychopaths don't see a big deal in it. He uh, he's too afraid to fight back. What are you talking about? Well, he seems like he's very scared of you and well, all of you here. So as long as nothing gets in his head and no one tries to make him feel grander than he is, mm. he'll, he won't try anything. No, no, I don't think so, one of them. But, uh, well, I, I don't know, Eli and Gannon, are they the type to encourage uh, <laughs> delusions of grandeur? I think that's what they have been doing is why Jasper was at this sad pass. He's going around telling people I kidnapped his sister and I'm going to hurt her or something if he doesn't work for me. Odd. Yeah. I, I don't know why money isn't, isn't enough of a motivator uh, to just tell people. I don't know. Well, if, if that meta dump is gonna uh, fuck with him, man. Eli and he didn't Gannon, know that I knew. Uh, yes, I, I have a question. Eyes. What? Uh, Don't be mad at me. Bill talk in his ear and uh, make you know, him feel Gannon's stronger out there he bleeding. Is. He hasn't been to a doctor yet. Well, I packed all of his wounds him, and told him he needs a doctor. I couldn't fight. help him, and then he left. I don't think I can. I don't know what to do. Wait, you're saying Jasper left? That's good. 
Jasper left, and I don't know what to do with Ganon. I told him he needs a doctor. Unless he convinces him. Everyone outside. This motherfucker left Ganon in the street and left. I told him he needs a doctor. What the fuck? What? There's no way he did that. Where is he? I packed him up. I packed him all up and I said he needs to take him to a doctor and Okay, he's left. still That's bleeding not really bad. Good. All right. Um Moxie. Maybe he didn't care about Ganon. Maybe uh stabbing <laughs> well, him was a mistake. So. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of stating the obvious right now, but I, maybe we should have stabbed Jasper. Hey, Harry, which way did he go out all of right, town? Right, Moxie, I, I need think you he went to take... that way. I need you to take, uh, Garen to St. Denis. Jasper wouldn't have fought back. And I need okay. you to come That's up with I'm a story saying. as to why he's got a stab wound and a gunshot. Make up something. I think you can, like, get yeah. him the fuck out of Van Horn. Fucking Van Horn. He went way, which way, Harry? Van Horn got the best of him. Like no, he went that way. No, 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 he wasn't okay. in Van Horn. All right, Butcher's Creek. Sure. Or fucking... Emerald Ranch Farms. Butcher's Creek, right? Yeah, Butcher's Creek. All right, go. They get fucking hasty over there. Good All right, no we're gonna have to fire fucking way. Jasper. Sounds like LJ was right. You think he's heading to Brahma? I don't know where he'd be heading. Did she say he was heading towards Annisburg? Uh, yeah, she said he left at this way. The fuck are you doing? Shrimp Ask Moon. Oh, there he is. He moved. He's got to get to a doctor. That's what I said. I said he needs a doctor. It's I can't help Denis. him. He was never in fucking Van Horn. Oh. Took my horn. Alright, we're gonna make sure that this happens. <laughs> Mount up. Sent a telegram out. What if you actually was conspiring with Bradshaw? And that was all fake? Huh. What if you just went to go send a telegram to even law? I think you all think too highly of him. <laughs> yeah, maybe.
I try not to think too lowly of anybody, OJ. I don't want to get the upper hand on me that way. Wesley, fix your saddle. All right. You're rooting for Blondie in DEG? Man's a man's been plotting. Hey, wanna be ambulated now? Oh. One of the guns I gave you earlier, the rap gun. I have a normal gun if I could just raise it for that one. You're on. There's one there's only one thing worse than a scheme on. Well. Nothing will be in a scheme on, but if you're a bad scheme on, it's a problem. Did she? What did she say? They found your hook. His eyes are on the back of his head. That can't be good. Can you speak? No, it's up. They're just not saying anything. Moxu. Bubbled? Oh, shit. Now I feel bad because I realized I stabbed the wrong guy. We should have stabbed Jasper. You know, you're talking way too loud about stabbing people in the streets of Saint Denis. So, sorry, sorry. God forbid you talk about stabbing people in Saint Denis, the city where people get stabbed all the time. All right, all right.
about this city. I'm sure Ganon's gonna be fine, guys. Right? I only shot him. Listen. If he dies, he dies. I kind of see this as a win-win situation. Eli's gonna hear about this and either he stays around or he decides to take off, leave all of it behind because he doesn't want to fucking die. Could be good. What if Eli hears about this and decides that, uh, or rather he hears a lie from Jasper about it? I got a really big barrel. Not now, at least. You insult me, Wallaby. What on earth would I have to gain by meeting you? This may come as a shock, but I have far more interesting matters to attend to than whatever... Okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, go on. Sorry. Horse! Jesus, that horse is gonna break everything. ain't working. Let me feed him. Maybe I can help him. Yay! He ain't broken. <laughs> they won't want anything to eat while we're here. Maybe go to the saloon. Emma, right? Get a Emma, right? Maybe 
I had no blackjack. That's what people want to do. <laughs> what do you want to do, Matt? I've realized I've never asked you that. What do you want? I want to went over Rome. Hmm. Hmm. Make sure the people I'm with survive, I guess. Oh. Oh, that's nice that you want us to live. And that's what you want in life. You know, you've picked a you really pick bad bunch of people to make friends that you want living. Maybe you should find like a banker or something. That way they might live long. I don't know. Bankers get shot all the time. Let's have a drink. Hell, I probably shot some of them. Moments like this where I missed a code or get her a dance or something, make us hope you saw. You've been around Van Horn every once in a while. Yeah, we'll we'll just start here back. Now. Get a drink. We're using the bath up here. Are you bath bathing again, Scale? I like to be clean. If you shake this hand, it, it's so smooth. It feels like raw chicken. Where is Dakota, man? I want to open my door and let cool air in here, but I'm worried about my cat. Give me a second, let me open the door. Just ran right in. Peanut, no. Screen door guy too. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed that little tune. Played pretty well. All right. Where did everyone yeah. go? Little scout done with his uh, bath. Scout, are you done? Okay, you're done bathing. And the Lord just left to the west of town towards Valentine. Oh. That's a shame. I could just rode right by him again. They wouldn't even notice me. <laughs> Aren't you like one of the most wanted individuals? Yeah, but somehow I can ride right past law and they don't even pay attention. Why do you sound so depressed when you say that? <laughs> Would it make you feel better I'm... if they wanted to kill you? Trust I mean, me, they could not, try. not all that glamorous. He's a surprise down, Jack. I'm glad I've got goggles on. You nearly blinded me. They could try to kill me, but I'd probably kill them first. It was like a beacon. We, we don't need a bulb in that lighthouse. We just put you up there. I, I spent a lot of time in a cave. And also on the beach when it's very cloudy. 
Had a gram? Oh, I can check it in, in uh, St. Denis. It's a shame he, that Bradshaw didn't want to meet. It's a shame. Just wait read the rest of that. Probably some vital information. How far is YouTube behind? Like two episodes, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe more. I'm not sure, actually. Come to think of it. I think it's only two though. I think it's completely caught up. Actually, I actually find it more amusing and depressing that the law just kind of walks by me without noticing. <laughs> Someone could be wanted for so much and then just wander around without being bothered. I wish I had that. that. Harass me like annoying little. Fuck, I didn't get food while I was there. I'm a fool. Hey, do Matt Wesley stream? Maybe I believe they do. The yes. The they do. How flattering, Wesley. They be like oh. better. Can I kill that woman up there, by the way? Who is it? Uh, she's a fucking. Frankly, she was a bitch to me, and I want to fucking kill her. Is that your reasoning? Uh, yes. She was oh, an absolute asshole for no reason whatsoever. I well, can scare her if you want. <laughs> Who is she? <sighs> Wait another time. You can rob her if you wanted. You want to rob her, Scout? Uh, I'll wait. I've seen her about five times today. She's easy to track. I'll All do right. it on my own. All right. It seems like she just go by herself everywhere anyway. Take all his work money. <laughs> Moxie, bad news. Oh, Don't know if that fella was important to you, but voice. doctors no showed. I tried everything I could. The boy is dead. Well, fuck my ass. Where? Where? Right. God damn it. God damn it! All right, we gotta move. <laughs> Name, so I at least know whose blood's all over my hands. Ganon. Now, if old Jake Ganon. would just let me stop, just stop right here, stop right here. But the goal was not to kill, but to maim. Now, if LJ, if you had just stabbed him properly, he wouldn't I be fucking dead. Properly. He's fucking I dead. Him. I twisted the knife. I, I didn't tell you to twist the fucking knife, did I? I don't think it was the stab that killed him. Well, it contributed. Oh, he's dead? Yeah, he's fucking dead. Yeah, he's I've dead. been out well, of jail for two days. You should have chose better friends. Back what am I supposed to say? I told him before he was stabbed, and I told Jasper too that he wasn't going to die, but he was going to bleed. And the first thing you do is you fuck that up, and you, you made me have to shoot I him. I fucked it up? I had to shoot him because he was coming Jasper at you with a knife. Jasper fucked it up. Wait, did you say LJ? What do you think this is? I don't know, some scraggly old man. Yeah, it's LJ. Oh. <laughs> How's the mom, Moxie? Okay. She's fine. Well, great. Well, Gatlin's fucking dead. Well, 
That changes the plans oh, well. a little bit now. Oh, well. I mean... Oh, well. You know, these things happen. You know, you're gonna... Yeah, well. You gotta warn uh, somebody. You gotta admit there's a possibility that, in, you know, ends in death. These things happen. A very I angry think... blondie has run back into Van Horn carrying a body, so... Oh, I don't know what you plan Let's to go. do with that. Oh, <laughs> One more, let's go. You guys are sick, man. I think I've been a Harry, yeah, I know. I know. A whole new group of Italian men that I've never met Scout. Yeah. I don't want to worry you, but your girlfriend's there by herself. That is true. Harry is there by his own man. I don't think he'll do anything to Harry. Yeah, no, right he now. just killed his fucking friend. There's no telling what he might do. He might lash out at the poor lady. And she's got our fucking money! I mean, she's Scout's girlfriend. <laughs> Who's that at the very back? LJ? It's fucking picking up, man. There was a lawman snooping around when I was leaving town. They were by themselves. I think they're pretty stupid to be out this far on their own. Keep around over. Just outside of St. Denis or keep around Van Horn. They were heading Van Horn. I distracted them with the body. You <laughs> I distracted them with the body. Nice. Turned around. Ooh. Hello? Oh, she's okay. Oh, that's good. Was I in danger? Thank God. Probably. Thank God. Potentially. So to happy to see that yeah, you're alright. Okay. She has our fucking that money. Doesn't... We make sure she lives at all costs. You should have let me boil him. Why? He died. What? Oh yeah, Gaden, Gaden okay, died. Moxie. Uh -uh. For fuck's sake, Harry, come here. Well, you know, Jasper it's let him to, die. Why would he do, he do that? Bluntly, you see that way people know you're not. You really need you know, to get better. It. You can't be letting that I need to get again. better. I shouldn't have to fucking. I need to get better. You need to get Who battle. cares if he died? I don't Who care. cares if he died? I don't care. Nobody. That he died, Nobody. He was the... nothing. He was nothing. Yeah, I know. He was nothing. He was a message for Jasper. And guess what? Sometimes reality hits you a little harder than 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 you want. And Jasper got reality hit a little hard. All, all right. right. All right. All right. Doesn't all right. Change the so fact. Jasper has some fire in his heart now. That's something that he needed. He needed fire in his heart. I'm glad Ganon died. This is a great thing. You need to uh, be a little more positive sometimes. You're such a pessimist. I'm not. You know? A, I, I don't give a fuck that Ganon died. I'm upset. No, and no, you're you upset. Have lost. You're upset. No, you're, you're a bit incompetent with a fucking knife. You've got to get better I'm at I'm a bit stabbing. incompetent with a knife? Yes. You're a little bit incompetent with a knife. He could have stabbed you. All right. No, well, he didn't. He died. It's whatever. Bon. In the future, you know, 
get better at stabbing people that way i don't have to shoot them five times you understand god forbid you lift a finger wallaby oh i've lifted many <laughs> fingers trust me i've been lifting too many who is this who the fuck is this hello Yep. Lovely evening. I think I think Harry was friends with Gannon, man. I feel bad. Where are anybody in? You heard, you wanna swap those guns now and then I'll probably head to sleep. Gun. What do you wanna swap for? Uh the, I gave you a gun that had a wrap on it, and I'm gonna give you this one without the wrap on it. Why do you want the one with the wrap on it? Because I put the wrap on it and I like it. All right, does it have to be now? Or can I wait? Yeah, I can wait. As All long right. as you're not going to sell them. I'm not going to sell them. Not yet, right. anyway. I'm going to go to sleep then. All right. All right, no. We're going to sell the one with the wrap on it. <laughs> Isn't that how you say Alvin was here? Jesus! Let's wait. I'll see you tomorrow, Scout Night. Oh, okay. Good night, Wes. If I get a whiskey glass, do I need to put whiskey in it? No. Eli's in Saint Denis. He came by here and Harry sent him there. You know how lucky that motherfucker is. Would seem that way. Open oh, hour to me. God damn it. You alright, Harry? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I didn't know that fella. I don't know if you knew him. She wasn't friends with him, was she? Yes. Yes, she was. <laughs> what you've done? What, what, what have I done? <laughs> Go over there and face what you've done. Where? Go ahead. Who? What? Harry. Hey. Go ahead. Hello, Harry. Hi. Anybody got a shank? Are you okay, I'll Harry? I dollars for a shank. I'm just a I'm little not. sad. I liked Gannon. We, Harry, we it's okay. Like Gannon. We all no, we him. all liked Dan and we all liked him, yeah, Harry. It's, it's okay to be sad. I don't know who yeah, the fuck Dan okay. was. <laughs> <laughs> hang around you. Moxie, it, shut up back there. Maybe just if you saying. Oh, God. Sorry. Okay. Well, maybe if you no, spend more time grab... in Van Horn and less time on your back, maybe you'd know. I, I did try to you help You know him. that, wouldn't you? It's no, okay. I know. Yes, because I was. Harry, I know you did. I know you did. As you're on your back. It was unavoidable. What happened to him? Oh, you fuck. Yeah. No, don't. I Now's not the time. We're mourning. We're okay. mourning. You did everything you could. We're mourning. Oh, okay. I know. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm, really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And it's all right. You know, at least you. At least you know you did everything that you could. Scott, could you pick help? Yeah, it's just. Yeah, uh, you pick around. You no, know, if it was just a stab wound, I could have maybe done something. But I don't I'm know so how to sorry. take bullets out of someone. Alice hasn't taught me that yet. This is grown back, all right. Shut up. Stop stepping on me. I'm trying to. I can get you on right there. You are. Killed by shaders. It's not the shaders' fault. I oh, swear to God. Right. It's you come back. Everything was so quiet, peaceful, and then you come back, and uh, this uh, happened. What happened? Whatever this is. Covered in blood. I don't know who the fuck that was. Listen, you ain't seen nothing. You understand me? I didn't see what. Exactly. <laughs> I just saw a man that I found in fucking Butcher's Creek. That's right, you did. <laughs> Is this what you were talking about? So let me ask you a question. Oh god, here we go. The choking thing I just that just happened. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. is, that, is that the usual fee or What was that? Or do you charge extra for the choking? I will kill you when I stand up. <laughs> I can just leave you here. I will kill you. <laughs> you're lucky you're never alone. <laughs> 
you know what that's complete bullshit i'm always alone boo hoo fella you know what you're going in the fucking river no, you're going in the so, fucking river you said to me again you dare. that's some fucking western talk i don't need it will you find with the west again and the west is doing their own thing but i'm not allowed to have a little bit of the west in me no it's disgusting <sighs> Fucking Alvin's on oh, great Alvin's here to find out the good news. Not it. <laughs> Just casually walk into the saloon. Alrighty, ready to get off. I guess. Hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. Alright, off you go. I don't oh. think it was just born, born that way. Don't, please don't oh, kill it. You gotta whip, you gotta whip. What happened to your hit? You think I'm a maniac? I'm out here killing dogs? <laughs> I said Ganon's dead. What? what? Oh yeah, he passed away. He's passed on. Going to, go to a better place in the sky. It was really unavoidable, actually. Um, a tragedy. A real tragedy. The, the, the details and such. Oh, you know. Uh, you know, I, you know, I, you know things people happen. die. Yeah, people die yeah. all the time. You know, it's that time of well, year. Okay. 100 people die every day. Yeah. Oh, Sometimes. Come on. More. Yeah. Guys, no numb not expressions. It's like, what actually happened? Well, uh, well, well, he was living one second and then the next second, you know. Yeah, poof. Dead. Poof, dead. Just how it works. Right. I, I, LJ, if I knew you better, I would grapple you. Uh, you can feel free to I, touch me, my friend, but if you touch me, touch take me him with out love. Dinner watch first. out, watch out. Don't grapple him. He's the grapple king. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and when I say that, I mean he's fucking not. Actually, I don't want to. While, while to get he, while he has a bit of a chip. He has a bit of a chip on his shoulder. He has a bit of a chip on his yeah, shoulder right now. I don't like right when now. things don't go to plan. You're right. He doesn't like when things don't go his way, but he's always been like that, Alvin. He's always <laughs> been like that. And that's why, you know, Eddie gets under his skin. That's why I get under his skin. Because me and Eddie, we're, we're wild cards. <clears throat> it, yeah, that's why I get under his skin. We're wild cards. So I, you know, God forbid. God forbid. You know, oh, I'm, I'm not able to, I'm not able to squeeze. I'm not able to squeeze like I used to. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. And this I didn't, I didn't realize, I didn't realize I was here for my squeezing abilities. All right, I'm gonna check telegrams. If you went to Guarma, you wanted something that could squeeze, there are snakes come back there. I'll being kidnapped and murdered. Okay. Careful, law might be that way. I'm not wanted, I didn't do anything. That's a first. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Who are these guys in this fucking wagon? <laughs> oh man, having LJ back, something else. Fucking Ganon, man. That doesn't count as a wallaby murder, okay? Because... Because, uh, Jasper left him in the streets to bleed out. Okay? I mean, wallaby shot him. It was self-defense! He's attacking LJ! That's not a murder! Self-defense! I agree, Wallaby is innocent. Yes. <laughs> I'm not in denial, man. It wasn't supposed to be a murder. It was a, it was a friendly stabbing, man. You know?
Uh, yes, the stabbing has never killed anyone. Well, you know, he left him in the streets. You know? What are you gonna do? He left him in the streets, man. So happy that you've letting me know that you're around, Alvin. That's very fucking nice, this fucking guy. All right, so what, how the Bobby fuck did he him. die? Alvin, we are in mourning. We are in fucking mourning. You understand there's a grieving what period. Did, what, you fucking wait. Oh, well, damn maybe it, I these fucking grieve. manners. You can grieve without details. Exactly. I, no, I can't. Some fucking morbid curiosity. Sick. But if you must know, Jasper killed him. Technically. So, Jasper's the reason he's dead, or Jasper did the killing? Well, it's all a matter of perspective now, isn't it? What is he? Come on, Rolly. I don't know how much more I can say it any more clear. Did like uh, a cougar take him? Scar, 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 like... Scar, you want to explain, explain this clear eyes He's not understanding. Because yeah, otherwise I'm just going to continually see asking, you know, probably no, 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 the noise the shit out of you. God damn peanut head. <laughs> Actually, it's looking more like a kidney bean. nowadays. Kidney bean. Most low of them all and gets the most shit. Well, you know, someone has to fill that role on the, the on the group. I don't want to give me the details because I'm sitting right here. Use your brain. You don't look like you used to. You look a lot older now. <laughs> God damn it, horse! <laughs> Fucking, I hate Did he send you any threats? <laughs> no, no, we we're fine. Darn, I was kind of hoping. <clears throat> uh, he tried us. Okay. Must not like you. A dog again. Yeah. Oh, Just, a whiskey. Um... A whiskey whisk. Can I have a whiskey? Oh. Oh, whiskey oh, whisk. What is that? On the way you hold on. I mean, that's when you get a whiskey. Australian bullshit is that. And you whiskey. You get a whiskey, you crack an egg in it, and you whiskey. No, and no. well, why no. just like no. when I get them, it, the dog is really going. A dog. I can't. Um, I can't hear that dog. By okay, way. good. I can't oh, hear the dog. dog. You can hear it. I can't. Yeah, hear it. I. I can I hear can. the dog. Apparently, just Harry's got really good ears. Fucking I, hell. Uh, I heard it when I walked around the corner, Sorry, but I can't it's... hear it now. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Well, Wallaby just likes it when uh, I put whiskey in a glass and then I take a fork and just spin it around that's for right. a little bit. Your whiskey. <laughs> that's right. Whiskey you never, you you never crack a... You shouldn't be fucking laughing. You I shouldn't know be if... laughing at whisk in a fork. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, when, you know, LJ was younger, he used to be the P guy. The pee guy. Oh, yeah. I thought Pegan was pee. the pee guy. He used to be, he used to be out of pee on command. One of my many talents. Many crimes. We would leave command? the crime scene, and he wouldn't leave our mark like Zorro, but with pee. Those were the it's, days. Sounds more Boreal. convenient in the snow. Oh, it happens on no, the no, top. You gotta understand. Uh, you know, you gotta understand. I was. Severely dehydrated constantly. I didn't drink water. Is the problem? I used to exclusively drink root beers. Yeah, you remember that time we broke into so the car? It was it was it was very dark. It could stay in anything. Really. We uh we broke into the cod manor and went into uh, Solomon's office and we trashed the joint and then L J wrote down the initials D K on his fine chair. It was a work Here's of the thing. Here's the thing, I went in, uh, you know, knowing that I had to do that. Uh, so all day, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, 
fluids so I can. <coughs> Time finally comes. And, and I gotta go and I gotta go bat. I only intended to write DK, but I ended up writing the whole thing, Dead End Kids. <laughs> yeah, the wet bandit. That's what LMJ used to be. Is, um, is Pete the P guy now? Pete, I think so. Yeah, well, he's a P guy for different reasons. He can't, he can't hold it in. <laughs> Every <laughs> five that's minutes. really, that's really me. <laughs> How's it one? How's that me? Pete's guy now. I just spread lies like that. <laughs> you know, I'm not. Is it a lie? No, he pees every is that not a, Is that real? Can someone else confirm imagine, that? Is he actually peeing all the time? Imagine he does getting pee gaslit. Why is he? Something is happening. Why? Why does he pee so much? He is the why? opposite of what I had. I have. I had com, uh, complete control over my body. Really? That's right. Yeah, let's delve into this. Go on. Let, let's look at this fella on the floor here. What, what do you want with Somebody the fella on the floor? You want to piss on him, Moxie? No, you freak? quite literally shot through the back of Alvin his head. Alvin is going to die. Oh, yes. If because somebody doesn't talk to him it. right now. Alvin, why is Alvin going to die? Alvin, come Alvin, over here. Get up, here. What, get up here, Alvin. Why is Alvin dying? Listen, listen. I'll go away. I don't think he can fit in listen, the box. We are, <laughs> Alvin, we are the pro, you know, it's the the nine stages of grief, right? Uh, yeah, the, the, the P obsession stage. I never knew the one. You know, you are very impatient, you know that. I am. I'll tell you what I'll but, do. I'll tell you what I'll do. Here, Give me I'll, your book. I'll over Give me your so book. And I'll put it somewhere in your book and you can read through it and find it. How about that? Oh, does he really want to know what happened? Is that it? Yes. Everyone was here, right? I mean, I wasn't. I thought you were there. Wasn't he down there? Uh, oh, someone was there. That was West Corner. <laughs> sure. No, wait, no, that was Gannon. That was Gannon. Who was he though down there? Did he die? Oh, he's fine. Oh, do, do. All right. Should I should I tell the story or? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so uh the um the official story. The real story. Yeah, yeah. When you say official, what do you mean by you that? Know the... All right, well, here's the real story. Uh Jasper is a coward and he let his friend die. Well, that's I, I'm not surprised by that part. Jasper but How is did a... he die? Because Jasper's a weasel, he's a mouse, he's insignificant. Yeah, he's a selfish prick. He's, he's tiny, he's, I don't think he's actually, uh, a man, I think he's a little worm. I think he's a little worm, he's, he's not even a worm, he's like a, he's like a... a maggot. What are those, he's like a maggot. He's like a maggot, he's like a maggot that, uh, is inside of your apple, you take a bite, and it pokes its little head down, and it crawls out and it bites you on the wrist. There you go, you happy now, you know. And that it was nothing. little <laughs> that little maggot. He 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 had every opportunity in the world. Every opportunity in the world. To save his friend. I, I've been to help his friend. Around this guy for a very long time watching him. I, I think I know what How kind of person has, wait, Jasper is. Evan, just wait for the are you, what are you, you're, you're talking about here. Now we gotta restart from the shrubbery. Wait, 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 are you, are oh you, uh... Oh my god. Oh. You, are you, are it's you in that he's not calmness, a worm, or...? Calmness, calmness, He's a selfish snake who flip-flops here and there, up and down. I, I, I think you're, I think you're still Very speaking suspicious. too highly of him. I thought you were friends. I, I don't... I don't think he's a sneak. I think he's a coward. Mm. I think he's. I don't think he's a. Because a sneak is is. There's maliciousness in being a sneak. There's a bit of skill and a bit of uh, decorum in in sneaking around. Sneaking is a skill. All right. It's not easy to sneak. I know that. It's very hard to sneak. Um, but being cowardly. Uh, well, that's hey, that's hey. instinctual. 
that's instinctual. That uh, uh, a mouse doesn't need to learn how to sneak. A uh, mouse just knows how to be cowardly and and hide and scurry. All right, I'm gonna fucking beat this guy up to release this tension. No, you're not. Oh, fuck. I wouldn't fuck with him if I were you. He's gonna beat him up. Damn it. <laughs> He's gonna beat, beat him up, Jay. Yeah, well, he, so he's been you guys watching from it. afar, apparently. <laughs> so <please> get... <laughs> I need to take a bath. Yes, I'll you see you know, later, you Moxie. Fucking oh yeah, I didn't want to say anything. God, I'm stuck in the barrel. You have that particular... What do you call it? Orgy oh, smell. Oh, 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 what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, I'm that's drinking that's a drink. That, you can't hit a guy with glass. Lucky I don't have a medical bag. Good night. All right, go on. He's a fucking coward and then this worm. Okay. Uh, should I say the, uh, should I say, what, what am I saying? You're say, telling the official story. Oh, that's right. Uh, the yeah, official yeah. story? That's the wrong. official the story. story. That's wrong. I don't know what we're talking. When you say official, what do you, you mean know, by official? You know, the one that is being told. The one that's being, I said the one that's being told several times. Well, you, yeah, you, yeah. is a coward. He's well, a coward. All right, all right. But if anyone asks you, like, they try to interrogate you, you give them the story. Someone else give this. I'm so lost and confused. Someone else give the story. Right, I don't know Scout, what I'm supposed give, to say. Give him the official story. Scout, give me the, please. <sighs> give me the, give me the, if I was there, I don't even know what the fuck happened. <laughs> I, I don't even know at this point, okay? I got <laughs> lost in your story. Can we stop I got lost in your story. Also confused. Also I thought we were on the fucking murder Just tell me how he fucking died. Listen, the official story is over about Butcher's Creek and got shot and stabbed. There you are. Are we, did we shoot stab him? Well, that's up to you. Did debate. Jasper shoot stab him? No, well, you know, it is what it is. It was ja Jasper did it. It was his fault. He didn't, he might not have actually he physically done it, but it was his was fault. Assaulting us? Mm, don't think he was doing any of that. Was he an example? Oh, no, 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 he did. To Jasper? He, he was assaulting someone. <laughs> oh, well. You know what? The what string is the very nice. Fling potato <laughs> fuck. You know what? You gotta become, you gotta calm down. Oh, oh, these... <laughs> he's here. Oh, yep, there he is. There you go. No Eli in sight. Wow. How long ago was it? I heard the bad news. I know, I know. Here, come here. There, there. Now, these, dead. these things happen. You know, it's a shame. I liked Ganon. He was a good man. Didn't need to happen that way, you know. But look, look on the bright side. Come with me. Come with me. On the bright side, you've got a clean slate now. Look at this. You wanted a second chance, right? And he volunteered to step off and take blame. And now you... You know, your world is your oyster. Is that what they say, old oh, Jay? Your world is your oyster, right? Something like that, yeah. You know, yeah, right. So, you know, you could have stepped up and taken blame yourself, but you wanted a second chance. And here we are. So. Second chance it is. 
You're lucky you've got so many friends that are willing to bleed for you. It's a very hard thing have... to find nowadays. I don't have any anymore. Oh. <laughs> Where is he, Eli? I heard he was around. I don't know. You know. Yeah, we know he lying. was there. A bad start already, Jasper. You lined him gone. already. Where is he? I left him up at his grave. Oh, I see. Now, the fact he's not here with you, why is that? What is he upset? Is he angry with you? He wants me dead. He wants you dead. And what about me? I don't know, I think he blames me. No, 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 no. Come on now, be honest with me. You want in, right? You want in. Follow me, please. No, 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 no. You tell me the truth. Truth will set you free. You want to be part of Van Horn? Please, God is already gone, please. Loyalty is with Van Horn. That is what you've pledged. Have you not? Hurt is my daddy. Yes or no? What? What is Ganon so die accident. for nothing? He's already gone. Ryan, well you don't want to waste his but life he's not coming now, back. Ryan. Of course not. But you can live in his memory. You can take the gift that he gave you and use it to its full potential. Do you want that? Good. Good. Come with me. Come this way. Come on now. I'm gonna look after you. You're amongst friends here. Remember, I said I was going to help you with your sister because she isn't well. No. I fully intend to keep my end of the bargain. I am a man of my word. You know that. Now, I want you to look in my eye. And I want you to tell me that your friend Eli doesn't intend to hurt me or any of my friends. Tell me that. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt him. I just wanna make sure I can trust you. does <laughs> yes 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 i know he does look that's a natural reaction because that directly undercut the deal that i made with him you see eli was my friend he's been my friend for a while now he's told me everything about you every dealing in exchange was the safety of everyone else He's a very angry man. He Ryan. didn't like it when I told him you lied to him. Lion. No, I'm not. That's not true. Oh, it is. How do you think I knew about everything? 
but it can't be true. I'm sorry, but it is. I spotted him the moment I came out onto the dock. You remember when I came out here? Oh, you weren't even there. It was all your friends. It was after you and I had a little chit chat. I came out and they were all on the end of this dock right here sitting down. And I walked up and I could tell with his little demeanor, he was a very angry man. I could see him biting at the bit. I knew he had a problem with me. Now, I gave him my word. Unfortunately, it didn't go exactly to plan. Ganon's death is a tragedy. Now he's very upset, I'm sure, but he is now run out of usefulness. You have one last test. You do this. And we'll all go and find your sister together. Make sure that she's alive and well. Because you will be one of us. And all of us here die, fight and bleed for one another. You are going to kill Eli. And bury this evil once and for all. He cannot be trusted. He sold you out and he'll sell me out too. I know he will. I offered him a spot. That was before Ganon died. I'm sure he's plotting away. We can't have that happen now. You find him. No rush. You kill him. You bring me his head. And you're one of us till the end. And I assure you, I will do everything in my power to find your sister. Do we have a deal? Good. Good. Now, it's been a long day for you. I understand the pain, confusion, and anger you're feeling right now. I understand it very well, more than you know. But I believe this is the first step to something truly special. I'm sorry about Ganon, I truly am. I did like him. I meant what I said. Go. Sit down. Compose yourself. Grieve your friend. You've had enough for today. Thank there, you. There, there. It's all right. Come here. There, there. It's all right. It's all right to Thanks. feel pain. Yeah. Go. Go now. Expect Eli to do that. Crazy, right? Well, I'm nuts. I'm glad one of their friends are standing up for him. <laughs> I'm rooting for Eli well, as much as I can, you know. Yeah. Bad business. 
Bad, bad business. But he'll cleanse the problem. He'll prove his loyalty. Anyway. I hope so. Until this ill is dealt with, I recommend you all be on guard. Understood. You pushed in. Understood. I need a minute. Oh boy. I think that's a good, a good end. I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to send you to Jimmy, I think. Everybody, can we get some Fs in the chat for Ganon? Good guy, Ganon, man. All right, I'm going to send you to Jimmy. I'll be back tomorrow. Holy shit, it's getting it's going off, man. It's popping off. I'll be back tomorrow, probably with Terry. Probably with Terry. Until then, look after yourselves. Ta-ta and farewell.